<laughs> Welcome back to this. Da -da. I always forget I made a calendar. <laughs> <laughs> That's some real great way to start this episode. Right? Uh, Hi. What Hello. the fuck is time? Hi. What the fuck is time? Hey there. Last time, you didn't get eaten by zombies. This time, you might get eaten by zombies. Oh. I found a snake. That would not be Pog. You didn't, you didn't find anything. You did find a snake. You followed me like a creep. Yeah, because you were walking the wrong way, like a creep. <laughs> uh, I was okay, doing so last time you normal, everyday routine things. made Cross go talk to his wife. I regret nothing about this decision. It went perfectly well, like I said. <laughs> <laughs> it went perfectly well, as far as you know. <laughs> I started the conversation, then immediately ditched it and went to sleep. <laughs> Most of you went back to Ava. Yeah, and then we, we can probably wait till Wednesday where the shields are done. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I know we're those probably shields. not going to roleplay this, but can I just say I pull Rain aside to do prayers with her? Yeah. Sure. Um, there is one thing there, I do want to do on Tuesday night. If we're sleeping through the day and just to recover from the absurd let, day we had the previous night. Yeah. yeah. Um, whenever I get up, I want to have how I get out of bed and find Uriet. In the bunk beneath you? If he's there, <laughs> sure. Uh, I was gonna say, since uh, how I came in uh, later, yeah? Mm -hmm. Quite yes, a bit later. Is. So she would probably like find him talking to Ava, trying to buy another fucking spell scroll <laughs> offer that he could use. A blank one or a filled one? A blank one. one. Blank, easy. She's got <laughs> hundreds of these shit. <laughs> a silver. You'll buy three. So while you're doing this, um, I guess you're just at like the front desk, I'd imagine, right? Uh, yeah, wherever. She, yeah, I was gonna say, she saw stuff outside or inside today. Roll me a d20. <laughs> this is for <laughs> uh, She's inside because it is raining. Raining day, hell yeah. Oh, that'll be fucking cool to go out and look at the stuff that we did, like, two days prior, because it needed water before. Mm, I have a question about the rain ambience, then. Um, do I hear that inside of the bigger on the inside cart? Jake, like, ever so slightly. Hmm. Oh, it's gonna come to the front of the cart and spot her and Ava and just, uh, kind of quietly shuffle forward and just be like, <clears throat> Um, Uriet? <laughs> yeah, what's up, Pat? Rolls up the scrolls, puts in his little scroll case, <laughs> readjusts it on his back. Yeah, what's up? She is, like, holding her hands together, has her brow kind of furrowed. She looks oddly uncomfortable for her. He does the thing of, like, blows into his hand, sniff, sniff, mm -hmm. raises up an arm, sniff, sniff. Other arms, isn't it? Not me. Her look goes flat. No, not you. Yeah, I, I thought was wondering if you had a moment to look at something for me. Oh yeah, sure. I know you're good at comprehending strange dialects. Depends. Uh, I mean, I've got the spell. That'll probably do. Um, I suppose Ava, if you want to come as well, it's. Not a problem. Just simply need someone to look at this. I can look at things. I do, in fact, have eyes. <laughs> Good. And a plethora of languages. Can we use the back room that you use for alchemy? I don't want to risk a, another person coming in here in the midst of this. I mean, it's kind of all one big room. Did you not have a curtain sectioned off area? Could have sworn I you did. I pull out the curtain. The curtain would be nice, yes. Just some yeah, level of privacy no. that's not in the rain. Yeah. Pull, she'll pull a cord and the curtain will fall. Nice. <laughs> Alright, so Halite pulls the two of them back to the curtained off section and just like kind of sits down at the like alchemy table that's back there and pulls out their journal. So... Oh dear, do you recall the invisibility spell you cast on me last night? Yeah, I constantly was thinking, man, it would be hilarious if she's not back if I just drop it. And I never did. Yes, please, under any circumstance, never do that. It would have been 
horrible. <laughs> Awful, in what? fact. What'd you do, go back inside? No. We agreed to meet up in town to bring Cross and Marin to the one who spoke to the being behind the lantern, Rain. And I noticed that Vari was sticking to the back of the group, not really following the plan that she had momentarily ago agreed to. Curious as to what she was doing, I paused a moment and watched, seeing her head in the opposite direction of the town. Under the guise of the invisibility spell, I decided it wouldn't hurt to take a closer look at what was going on. Some things felt off about her ever since we met. It did not take too long to reach her destination about 10-15 minutes into the woods, down by a brook. I assume some hovel that she was staying at. But through some method, announced to me, maybe an extreme paranoia or wariness, she caught on to the fact that she was being followed. Had I not made a quick move, I'm fairly certain I would not be alive anymore. However, further investigations led me to this, and she spreads open a page in her notebook, revealing a scrawled, mad wall of writing words that are not all from the same language, three different languages, one being common and two of which she herself doesn't, you can clearly tell by the way they're written, doesn't fully understand. I was wondering if you could decipher this for me. Ariat can definitely recognize one of the languages as Draconic. Ah, yeah, that's Draconic. Hmm. That's a good start. That one doesn't... Hang on what comes. languages do you know? Uh, common, Draconic, Dwarfish, and Giant. Okay, cool. Yeah, they don't ring any bells. Yeah, nothing. Does Ava know it? You're only an insight check? Sure. <laughs> I'll light tired. <laughs> nice, nice three. She kind of shakes her head and kind of looks at you, Hella. I... I don't know, I've seen this before. I hmm. can't read it. You read it? I think it's like script. Abyssal or something. Abyssal or, uh. Uh. Fe f f Infernal. That's the word. Something like that. He says an eyebrow. Where did you see Abyssal or Infernal written? Have you ever done trading with tieflings? Yes! Half of them write in common Every only, now, half man. of them cough and fight fucking... The Infernal ones are super proud and only write in Infernal, and some of the Abyssal ones, some of the, like, Abyssal-based tieflings only write in Abyssal when it's important stuff, like spells. Most of my encounters with tieflings were verbal, so... I never had a chance to see this language written. Where he kind of, like, strokes his chin a little bit. The infernal ones are kind of hot, though. Like your desert? Uh, attractive. Ah. Uh, I never actually got with one. I don't believe uh, I disagree with you. I'll then, like, raise an eyebrow. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but give me a minute, then I can, uh... Thank you, Elliot. Yes. She concerns me. Eh, that's fine. I'll spend an entire minute ritual cast in a kind of brand language. Ritual casting? Ritual, ritual casting. casting. Okay, so you are able to read the words that Howlite has transcribed. <laughs> Duncan, would you like to tell them what these things say? Yeah. yeah sure, before, sure. before Duncan does that, before Duncan does that, Kat, does you have any memory of, like, Infernal or Abyssal from his feelings with uh, tieflings even if it's like horrible and not gonna it sound good would, at all uh you would have a vague understanding of how to speak it good then he would just start saying random words that he can remember just to fuck with them a little bit language proficiency 
<laughs> just <laughs> language proficiency. Language <laughs> proficiency. <laughs> he would just like do that thing of like eyes roll back and his head just. <laughs> just a <laughs> I'll like just deadpans at him. Oh, come on. I thought it was funny. All right, all right. <laughs> all right. All right. It says. <laughs> yeah, so I can, I can give you the gist. What you see kind of like, not in really any sort of discernible order, but it seems like over the span of a year, these are a bunch of essentially like journal entries. Um, from what you can tell, there's not really any... Like, only, only a couple of them are dated, which, again, no discernible patterns there. You read through a few of them, they're mostly uh, just, just noting upon, like, random thoughts and going-ons, presumably of the previous day, of the previous day down in the ruins. You will read one of interest, but one of these does detail what happened on the day of when the other adventuring party oh. showed up to the ruins, and that whole thing went down. <laughs> I'm looking for any particularly suspicious information, particularly yeah. regarding Vari and what you she would, did. You would start to notice that in a few of them, um, you see mentions of the names, of course, of Cross and Marin, but you will also see a third name here and there. Mm -hmm. uh, you thought it was just a random word in one of these two other languages, but you realize that as you read it more and more, no, it's, it's being used as a name. Um, I'll, I'll type it in chat. <laughs> okay. Oh. Oh. Sorry. Oh. All right, okay, got it. Was it this? Yeah, yeah, it's that. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck, your Discord message is blocking it. No. <laughs> <laughs> yes! Right. What do you mean it's blocking it? <laughs> it's the stupid, like, pop-ups that show up on, like, the oh, right-hand corner. I thought you meant, like, it was censoring yeah, I know, it. I know that feel. <laughs> so, there will off. be, throughout the, throughout these journal entries, there is the offhand mention of a person by the name of... Squidge! Squidge! <laughs> Does that Squidge. Wait, Duck, and I've heard of Squidge. You told me about Squidge. Does that name oh even my really God. Look, look familiar? <laughs> Sound familiar? Probably not. Who is no. he? God. Who is Squidge? I can't Squidge say anything. I'm gonna keep my mouth shut because I don't know. Hey, Thirty. Since you're reading it, could you give me a religion check? <laughs> <laughs> sure. Oh, I know I know I for it. It. Who is this Squidge that she speaks of? I. It's a name. Do you Doesn't sound I've got no idea. Someone who mayhaps perished alongside the adventuring party? Let's read further. <laughs> Keeps reading. Uh, there's a journal entry in there about the day that she went into the river and caught, like, a big fish. <laughs> Is there anything about her boa constrictor? Um, yes, actually. Have you named him? Shoelace. Shoelace! <laughs> <laughs> The way that you can tell it's a Duncan character thing. Uh, shut up! Shut up! <laughs> Shoelace <laughs> and <you>. Squidge. <laughs> Quiet, I, I've, I've, been, I've, been, I've been trying harder recently. These names are fucking great, Duncan. I love them. Don't, don't listen to the dissenting <laughs> Celsius. I love Duncan's them. the kind of character to play Pokemon, but not, but like, <laughs> want to nickname, nickname his Pokemon, but doesn't want to put any real effort in, so just looks around his desk and then the first object he finds. Yeah, that's, that's exactly this, what I do. That's exactly what I do. <laughs> this also, is I'm Stapler, glad that you just Describe, that you described my my habits as a character thing. <laughs> mm, mm, Bagolji's a pretty good food. I'll play that as a character. <laughs> None of that. I did not know Bagolji was a food. That was that was a keyboard you did smash. It? Yogurt. You that didn't was... know Bagolji was a food. No, I did not. That's incredible. Uh, d d d d uh, yeah, shoelace. Um, you will see. Speaking, the journal entries will kind of refer to Shoelace as, like, a guard dog, basically. Shoelace warned me of a couple, like, wandering people out in the woods today. Um, Shoelace beamed somebody in the head with a pine cone today. It was hilarious. Um, <laughs> Ariat snarks at that one. Just How did he get a pineapple? A 
I'm very curious about today's entry in particular. I want yes. to know what she said about us. Okay. Uh, if you want to look for that one, again, no particular order. Mm -hmm. uh, but there's a lot of writing there. And if you were. If you can, like, remember, like, when you were transcribing it. She took particular note of which writing. one was today's because she figured that would be important. Oh, okay. Yeah, then you'd be able to find it, no problem. Yeah. Um. I didn't write everything down. I just did general notes for the most part. I didn't. I okay, had, like, so just general there. notes? Yeah, I couldn't do everything. If, this, if these are full journal entries, there's no way I got everything, but I did take everything from specifically the one that she was writing when I was there. Because that's the one I thought, thought was in, important. Yeah, okay. The one from the day, it draws lines between several of them, right? When in previous entries she was talking about either the Church of Pelor or the Equinox Reserve or any of those two groups, what she was doing was she was noting things down and then kind of like drawing lines between them. And then am along those lines, um, adding like thoughts and such, like thought bubbles basically. Um, what it was is that she was noting down a lot of things that she told Cross earlier in that tunnel about kind of suspecting that the groups that you and your party belongs to kind of have been and are aware of what's going on beneath Lemstead. And she suspects a great deal that they're trying to essentially find the opportune time to move in and take over the operation and kick her across and Marin out of there. And she strongly suspects that even if you aren't directly involved, that you were by some kind of like, by some stretch sent here by these groups to be like, to be like probes essentially, mm. to figure out information about what's going on, if it would be an opportune time, and then bring that information out of the ruins and back to said groups. Mm. And she also strongly suspects that Howlite uh, is part of a third group that she has... She she just just, just suspects that Howlite belongs to a group. No idea what that group may be. Super suspicious. Can't trust the quiet one. <laughs> At that, Howlite just says... I belong to this caravan? I don't right. belong to a group other than that. <laughs> oh, she doesn't even say anything interesting about me, nah, whatever. I think she's just paranoid. That seems a little bit more like paranoia. A lot of people are paranoid. Oh god, yeah. I think her paranoia's valid, though. I haven't spoken to Celsius and Erevan myself. This Equinox Reserve, this is the group Celsius works for, yes? So he says, yeah. I do not believe they intentionally sent us to Lemstead, more so they sent him to find the wizard in the swamp, yes? Um... This was simply a happy accident, as one would say. Yeah, I'd say that happy accident. I can't say the same for the Church of Pelor. I don't know entirely what and it's a Cross's church is doing. And if it was Pelor, I feel like they would have somebody on a holy mission to eradicate all the zombies. I believe it's even more interesting to know. Can I see in here that Variza was the one who intercepted the uh, <laughs> note? Did you write about that? Oh, yeah! <laughs> Yeah, um, th this this is a common occurrence of also uh, sending out uh, shoestring. <laughs> so does it seem like she's the one who's <laughs> to, uh, to harass the mailman? <laughs> stopping any letters from going out is she the reason why no one's come to help the town? <laughs> How long has Vari been around? Um, not that long. Only only like the year that the journal she's kind of date back to. <laughs> Well, I just uh, seeing all of these is like, so what's to say that uh, Vari didn't accidentally become a self-fulfilling prophecy by denying any sort of outward influence, by confiscating all of these letters? Little do you know that is why I would have wanted. 50-50. <laughs> 
No, I said 50-50. Uh, it's possible. Probable. I just simply hope that she doesn't do anything crazy. Kinda looks back down at the through the chair like he's been reading. Then back up there. <laughs> back down at the book. And then just slowly closes the journal. Her do something crazy? Never. If you're that confident. Alright, it's hard to do sarcasm. That was sarcasm. I'm working on it. Your vernacular is so complex. I'll, I'll get there one day, I think. I'm a weird one. I'm not really a good, um, example for a lot of things. You're good at pointing out when I make mistakes, though, which I appreciate. Yeah, been Most around. people don't do that. I mean, it's just something you do for a friend? Hmm. I suppose so. Uh, let's see here, but I was gonna make a scroll real quick before I forget. Because I feel like he would probably need I just simply wanted to make sure that I wasn't the only one remaining vigilant on her situation. You two could assist me in just simply keeping an eye out for any bizarre motions or signs of more unwarranted paranoia. It would ease a great deal of my own paranoia. I can try. Yeah, I can attempt to. Uh, Thank you. Let's see. Uh, that'll. You need, oh, here's your journal back. Uh, anything else? Highlight or. Um. Yes, I do suppose I have one more thing. And they turn to Ava. Hmm? And they. Their eyes kind of light up for a moment and they're like. Reversely, fraud cure. Do you think you could adapt that into something else for me? Well, what kind of something else? The explosive kind of something else. Do you want me to make this explosive? If it returns trees to an inert state, what do you think it would do to the undead? Possibly well, a handheld flask? A thrown sort of grenade type device? I think it's possible. I think it would take me some time. Okay. Because I curated this to decompose, to return things that are undead and plant. Mm -hmm. So if they're plant zombies, I can do that. I have some ideas on the subject I wanted to run by you. Um, it's possible that if we were working together, possibly all three of us. We could reach some sort of success quicker. Yeah, probably. My alchemy skills, your alchemy skills. But it's seemingly unending wealth of knowledge. I am pretty old. You kind of have an unending wealth of knowledge. We can ask him the success. Don't just go asking a man his age. But I just did. No, no, see, okay, that, that. <laughs> okay, so there's sometimes, like, there, there'll be these people that really don't want to, like, give out their age. I like to make fun of them sometimes, and why not, um... Hmm. You're not one of these people. It varies from day to day. Um... Would an exchange of information I? satisfy you? <laughs> Or he, like, starts counting on his fingers, trying to, like, remember how old he is. Yeah, like, just chuckles, kind of. Oh, I see. You don't know, do you? I mean, when you get this old, uh, you tend to forget some things. Yes. Mm-hmm. <laughs> uh, let's see. Pulls open his book, starts flipping through the pages a little bit. Uh, that doesn't seem right. No, that, that seemed wrong, too. Uh... Closes it. Hey, we'll just go with like, uh, let's, let's just say 50 or something like that. Hmm. I could be completely wrong on that, though. Interesting. I believe in a similar vein, this is a compliment to some, and I mean it as such. You do not seem 50. 
I would I got moisturized and you know, can't like wear desert? too heavy clothes. <laughs> <laughs> what is the awesome. tile? <laughs> so you know I kinda shed. Doctors hate him. Dermatologists hate him. <laughs> I mean, it's a one trick skin care. <laughs> remove it. aging. By the way, after having like done that for how long it's been like sitting on the ground like writing transcribing a spell onto a spell scroll. Hmm. And, uh, pa, 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 pa. Let's see how this goes like this. And that formula like that. Uh, but so you were thinking wealth of knowledge, uh, more stuff. I mean, I'm, I'm always down for helping y'all. Like kind of what I'm doing right now for Celsus. <laughs> What are yeah, you the three of us, or the four of us with Celsus, we probably figure this out. I'd imagine Celsus' information could help in the explosive direction. I have just the bribe for him. <sighs> Did you want a return of information for yours? Still? Who, me? No, um, idiot. He told me his age. I was not sure if he wanted something back. He, he just kind of like stops transcribing for a second, looks up, does that like a wizard tongue thing, and just, I don't know, I'm good. Like I said, I don't fully remember my age, so hmm. that doesn't count. Good point. Shall we go find Celsus? Uh, you can, I'm just going to keep sitting here. This is going to take a few more minutes for me to transcribe this, so you go get him, I'll wait right here for you. Sounds good. Good. Do you remember where Celsus went? If he was in the caravan, I'm gonna jokingly walk out and just, like, have not noticed him sleeping on the bed and just be like, Oh, that's not a blanket. That was easy. <laughs> Found him! <laughs> Yells back. <laughs> Walks over. Poke. Poke. Hey, I figured it would take her at least mm. five minutes. <laughs> you notice that Hell Light seemed very groggy. They definitely not. <laughs> Sleep well. Hmm. Hello. What do you want? Your assistance in a dumb plan. How dumb is it? Viable, yet possibly dangerous. Oy. All right. Also, there's a bribe in store for you. Oh well. <laughs> so he <laughs> kind of sits up a bit. <laughs> 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 Alright, what do you need me for? Your knowledge on spellcrafting. Ah. Good. He gets up. There's two alchemists. Your knowledge on spellcrafting and Udiot's knowledge of travel. <laughs> he takes his spell book out from under his pillow. <laughs> they start talking as, like, we walk back to the curtain area. I want to devise a way to turn the cure for really firstly fraught into a cure for zombies. And by cure, I mean a bomb which kills zombies. Ah. Okay. I was testing the structural integrity of the caverns whilst we were... Whilst I was awaiting your return. It does not appear that the place could withstand an actual explosive blast. However, something more akin to a flower bomb, such as one in a hollowed-out quail's egg? Have you heard of such a device? I think I have. Something to simply spread it might work. And then she just pulls back the curtain and steps in. One wizard acquired. Oh, nice. Still... Oh, one? I thought he was two. <laughs> no, he's one. <laughs> Abel looks to Celsus. I forgot that they're dense. <laughs> oh, right, you're a lizard. I'm not dense. I never forget. <laughs> I don't think I'm that heavy. Case in point. <laughs> yeah, you can almost say she's lighter than air. No, that doesn't work because I only works with levitation. I That's a sometimes. <laughs> uh, so. Almost done, probably not. Cel Celsus is still kind of rubbing sleep from his eyes. Um, can I, like... Like a slice of bread left over from when we went to the tavern that one day, just pull it out of my satchel and hand it to Celsus. <laughs> just like, 
Have some food, you look exhausted. <laughs> Celsus will have Celsus will take the bread, bite some of it, mumble. God, I hate this stuff. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry we didn't have any day old tear toss for you, Celsus picky fucker. <laughs> <laughs> Seeing him grumbling, Hellite will also pull out probably, uh... I have tea leaves on me, right? Yeah, I do. <laughs> She'll just hold those out and just offer, like, Would you like some tea? Yes. I know that's not exactly the best breakfast. It's all I had. That's fine. I wouldn't have set off if I wasn't prepared to consume what I had to, though that doesn't mean that I won't complain about it. Allied's gonna get up and uh, just look to the other two. Tea, either of you? Oh yeah, that sounds nice. Awesome oh, yeah. you sound like you one know, of my it's, kids. Um, you know, it's like sunset. Yes? I've been awake all day. So no tea for you? <laughs> no, I don't want to stay up all night. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Ella's gonna go out and make tea for idiot and Celsius. Don't worry about me, I'll probably just get like a, a caffeine crash after all this. Mm. We could take the night slow, try and study the undead a little bit closer. Eh. We could. That would be a smart idea. Oh, right, Celsius. Uh, do you understand the concept of this spell over here that I'm transcribing? Eh, roughly. Ah, oh, great! This will make it even better of a bribe for you. God, I'm glad that you are smart. Hmm, I am too. <laughs> God, I feel like you'd get along with her very well. Celsus doesn't care to pry. <laughs> <laughs> Good. Where are the others? And uh, Vari probably wouldn't even know to come here and. Arvon's probably praying. I just ride up at this moment. Sure, you want to come in? <laughs> On the horse. So, Arvon, you hear a, a horse yes. coming down, and Arvon's just gonna. Whoa, whoa, there, oh, there, come on. Yeah, there we go. And Arvon's gonna tie up Mohawk outside and. <laughs> you Mohawk? <laughs> <laughs> is this a new one? <laughs> I cast I cast fight Steve while you guys were paying attention. <laughs> Amazing! Oh, <laughs> Mohawk and Bullet! Oh my god! <laughs> I fucking love that! Okay. So wait, is that mean the next one's gonna be Dreads? Or oh god. Nah, the the next one's Afro. Um <laughs> Afro! Oh, yes! Oh, uh, but you, you know you're gonna have to name one polka dot now, right? No, well, they're all hair. hairstyles. Polka dot isn't a hairstyle. <laughs> <laughs> but it's a reference. What about buns? Anyway, buns. Mohawk's buns. getting tied up by Sta <laughs> outside, and Erevon's walking in. Are you guys still all here, or did I miss the party? No, I'm Uri. Just in time there is no tea. party. Uh huh. We're here. Wait, I believe he's asking. Wait, Anything I need to know about? Because you guys seem to tend to uh Uriah, talk a lot about himself. plans before. You ever discuss with me? How <laughs> light seems like stunned for a moment. We're doing stupid science. <laughs> it looks back. You what missed it? the context. He was asking if. Am I. Am I missing? <laughs> what are you guys working on? Bombs. <laughs> Zombie bombs. <laughs> okay, so you're making bombs that can eliminate Would you like some tea? zombies? Yes. I yes. might need some after this. Oh! Um, <laughs> you know, just thinking about that sentence again. Why didn't we ask for holy water or something to make a holy hand grenade? Yeah, I was about to ask why you didn't come get me. I can literally make holy water. And prescribed alternative zombie killing weapons. Look, night's starting to fall. The zombies will be here in a few minutes. Are we sure we don't want to move? So we're either spending the night here, in which case I should probably 
than uh -huh. Mohawk back home. Anyway, um... I want to see whether or not this plan would even work. We can take some field tests. Take a few different batches of the... The fraught. Bent in different directions and... Tested on the zombies. Huh. Reasonable plan. I wonder Before how... making it too large of a bomb. Hmm. But we'd need a way to lure just a few of them. And I need time to make this shit. Don't they tend to scatter when leaving the town? Hmm. I know we've noted that before. They tend to leave town by different gates. We could just follow one of the small groups as it's leaving town and try to ambush that. Not a bad idea. I'm still curious what they're looking for. Well, it's going to come back with tea, place down a cup in front of Spudia, Celsus, and one to Erevan. <laughs> Thanks. Um... <laughs> hey, Cross, no, because uh, I don't remember who's saying. I don't think Cross ever investigated where the zombies go. Otherwise, he probably would have noticed that they're going to the town and that he's been away for 20 years. No, 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 like what they're <laughs> looking for, like, if he hasn't been to the town, then he wouldn't know. Don't believe we have any direct lead on that yet, no. Oh, I had my legend lore orb. We can mourn the orb's loss later. I can't even ponder the orb anymore, it's still broken! Would you like to ponder my orb? Would that make you feel better? You know what I just thought of? <laughs> now that you said that, how I... We could literally use the orb to, like, look at a location we've been to before, like, to see if it's clear of zombies, or if there's yes. zombies. We could scry on we the, uh, have one use of this lantern, protect. could we not? Yes, we could. If you want me to try something, I most certainly can. Hmm. You know... Oh, I probably don't have enough power to even try that. I was about to say, what would happen if we tried to charge it with, with our own magic, but eh, I doubt it would work. I don't think I'm strong enough. Hmm. Well, why don't we get to work trying to make a few of these test samples, no? Tomorrow, yeah. when the shields are ready, we head out at night and try and ambush a small group of zombies to test them. Sounds reasonable. Sounds like fun. Yeah, we should probably, like... Let the others know. Too. Yes, I do suppose that would be a good idea. We have a way to send a message to them. The one hand that's not riding points to Erevan. He's got a horse. Is it true? <laughs> oh. Uh, Halite's gonna pull out a piece of paper and start like writing something down. Take out a small bag. Tie it up. Place a few tea leaves in. Uh, tie the bag with a little bit of twine to the uh, paper. <laughs> fold it up. Close it. If you're going to Cross and Marin, can you give this to Cross for me? I I mean, I guess. I thought I was staying here to help you guys, but... Go try to find Cross and Marin. Tell them the plan. That we're going to investigate ways to destroy zombies with bombs? More or less where we're going to be as well, if they need to find us. Yeah. Yeah, I, I take the letter to deliver it. Okay, cool. And I hop up, get up, hop up, finish my tea, get, leave the cup down, get outside, get, um, mohawk, and head back into, ride back into town. <laughs> head into the church to go give... Cross the news, he could figure out how to tell Marin. He's probably got the message spell knowing him. Yeah, it's not too hard to find Cross. He's at the church with his wife. And you see Elizabeth, <laughs> their daughter, pacing. <laughs> hey. <laughs> Sup? <laughs> <laughs> this is how Erevan is. <laughs> um, hello, Erevan. Um, are you doing okay? Um, yeah, I'm. I'm. I'm doing fine. Still a little um, weirded out from sleep schedule interruptions. Anyway, um, 
The rest of my party wanted to let you, wanted me to let you know that they're going to be investigating ways to turn the uh, reverse leaf rot cure into a zombie bomb. I'm still not sure how they're planning to do that, but they're Sounds somewhat good. smart to at least not kill themselves. Uh, right. And then I inform him of the rest of the plan, and I say... Uh, also, I think they wanted you to hand you this letter. Oh, uh, thank you. Yeah, sure. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, I'm a. What does the letter say? Um, it's a uh, it's a small bag of tea leaves, and it opens up, and uh, it says, uh, <laughs> "Sorry about the peaches." Dash howl. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. What did you do to his peaches? Opened all of the barrels with his peach preserves. Oh no! <laughs> oh, <laughs> he loves his peaches. He, he takes the tea and kind of slides it into his pocket. It's getting a little late. Are you planning on going back up there? Or... Uh, no. <laughs> Fair enough. Well, as I said to the go group, back to I'll Wander see them Boston. tomorrow. <laughs> oh, and I telepathically told my horse to head to the stables. Ah. Because I can do that. <laughs> That's a statement. <laughs> How about we have a Fari moment? Alright. Fari, Fari in the moment. middle of the woods. You went back to your, your little hut. My rock. Your rock. It's not- it's not just a boulder, it's a rock. Your hole. Your crevasse. My little rock that I crawl under every night. I guess I'd be going about my routine, but because it's raining, uh, I want to take advantage of that. I want to go fishing. Alright. Can I you proclaim. roll me survival? Sure thing. You- you catch some- because it's raining, a lot of the fish are actually, like, not out currently. Alright. And you catch Aren't a couple fish... small ones. Is- 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 is it is it more like aren't more like fish like more active during the rain or is it like the other way around? Some I always forget. Are. I always thought it was a bad time to go fishing when it was raining. No, it's actually a good time to go fishing yeah. when it's raining. Mhm. Mm I wanted to do this. I wanted to do this right like right before sundown as well, so that there's still mm. daylight. You roll again. Simply freshwater fish are more active during the rain. <laughs> oh. oh. Ooh. Oh. You catch a couple small things and you're about to give up, so you like throw it in one more time. Uh huh. And you catch this very long, silvery kind of not super thin, but not like a big like trout kind of fish, but like a long. If a sardine was extended. Wet snake. Wet snake. Long sardine. Long. What are you doing with this fish? Uh, you know, taking its life. Yep, that's what I thought. I would say this counts as big enough. Okay. Awesome. Now, 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 now I can know I can do this, which works out. So yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go in there. I'm gonna grab that fish. I'm gonna, I'm gonna drag that sucker, kicking and screaming, back to the shore. I'm gonna, I'm gonna make sure it dies. I'm gonna hold it as its life steeps from its, from its mortal coil, mm -hmm. uh, leaving me alone once again on this barren earth. But are you really alone? I don't know. Am I? I should check my camp again for more invisible people. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Roll me paranoid perception. Mm. <laughs> like lifting up like little tiny rocks. I know you're under here somewhere. Where are you? <laughs> you don't see anybody. You All right. The idea that there's nobody out there. Well, I'm gonna get back to tending my fire pit. Then I'd like to, I'd like to turn this uh, this big fish that I caught into rations. Oh sure, yeah. Because I rolled pretty well. How many how many rations would you say I'm able to get out of this thing? I'd say four. Ooh. Okay. Or days worth, I will eat one of those right away. I'll store those rations uh, in my in my camp's like trunk. Yeah. And I guess at that point, once I'm done tending to my equipment, making sure that nobody sabotaged anything. No sabotage. No sabotage. Good stuff. All right, I'm going to then through the rain. Once it's once it's dark enough in the times in the times right, I'm going to head back to the uh, ruins, head back to the cave entrance, and start yeah. heading down. Because I'm uh, still expecting people to be down there today. <laughs> or tonight. Despite the plan never being to be down there tonight. I want to go look for Marin, specifically. 
Uh, well, you know, Baron's usually in a couple places. If he's not in the ruins, he's at that place where they store all the food. Oh, he's probably cleaning up the peaches. <laughs> the peaches? He has to throw peaches. out all of those peaches. I'll go help him toss out the peaches. <laughs> Damn shame. Damn shame. Uh, to your surprise, there's nobody there. Uh, where are they? <laughs> This is getting more and more suspicious the more I look for them. Hmm, well... Uh, last time I saw Marin, he was at town. Yep. So, begrudgingly, I'm going to, yeah, pull my hood up over my head and I'm going to head into town. Absolutely just... <laughs> just ruined by rainwater. And oh, miserable. Punished story. This is my punished arc. <laughs> Three episodes in and it already begins. <laughs> you, you came into this series already in your punished arc. I was, I was in my like deranged, like squalor arc. <laughs> the second we started. Your squidge arc. <laughs> my squee. <laughs> okay, uh, noted. You are stealthing around the town as it is dark and rainy and thunderstorming, and there Spooky. are hordes of zombies walking the streets. Yeah, I've been there, done that. Ava, ain't nothing. They my ain't smart fucking like me. god. Hey, you guys know how Ava has crit every single yeah. alchemy roll? Uh -huh. Yeah. Uh, she almost crit. Did she uh, add her bardic inspiration that I always give her? Oh, I'm God. also giving her the health action, so... But you will have a couple options as to what might work against zombies. Awesome. Nice. Whenever that's done, I'll hand that over to Celsus. <laughs> uh, Halvard's gonna just ask what spell you made. Oh, uh, I transcribed for him silvery barbs. Which oh, is a cool. first level spell scroll. Ooh. Yeah, I figured, you know, this might be useful for more than just one person to have, and uh, it's honestly just really good. Good barb moment. Mm. Celsus kind of reads it over. He, he takes his spell book and then just kind of, uh, folds, like, like, rolls the scroll up a bit and just kind of places it in his spell book <laughs> for later. <laughs> <laughs> kind of a pain to make sometimes. Could be worse. Could be worse. You could be making upper level scrolls. They take forever. Uh, yes, they do. Is it bedtime then? We don't want to screw up our sleep schedules too much. Yes, I. I'm going to bed. Think that's a great idea. Fields tomorrow. Yeah. Field test in the <laughs> afternoon. Oh. Let's see. Is there a market in town? Goods. Goods. Imports. I mean, I remember correctly, didn't, uh, should not be forgetting that. Uh, the, the Cross's wife's, uh, didn't they have a general store that might have food and whatnot? Yes, but I'm thinking of something a little bit more special. Just you know, thinking we could all gather together and make a meal. You know any places in town like that? I'm not allowed in town. <laughs> Fuck, that's right. I was thinking in the caravan. I did not intend to do this somewhere in town, merely to go into town to get ingredients. Yeah, we had that makes sense. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we could probably, like, ask someone tomorrow. Alright. Good work today. Thank you for your help, everyone. You're welcome. Bro. Mm. <laughs> uh, Celsus is just reading the scroll. <laughs> Next day time. Next day time. Yo, wake up early because y'all went to bed, got up for a couple hours, and then went to bed. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but now we're alive. Story of my life. Oh, I know, Duncan. <laughs> <laughs> so are we able to head to the shop and pick those up yes. today? Awesome. Yeah. Oh, guys, I'm powerful. Oh, uh, Fowry, do you want to pick your pickaxe? Powerful. Pickaxes? Is it two? Yeah, it's so, two. So do we see um the snake in there? Oh yeah, when you when you um when exactly are you coming in to pick up the shields? Well, we probably, probably had to meet on the up way to with... get to the market, right? Imagine. Yeah. Yeah, but at what time of day? Market probably didn't open up till like eight, so. <laughs> Imagine morning, not too early, but like 
Okay. Okay. After folks have eaten breakfast and all that. Yeah, I'd I'd be there if this is like in the in the ETA I was given for the pickaxes. Then I'd already be there. <laughs> uh yeah, when you when you walk in you see Vari hood up. Caked in mud. <laughs> Fucking mess. Like already scuffed as fuck, like hobo cloak. Even more scuffed as fuck looking now. But she's good with it. She thinks it makes it look her make her look like an actual gardener now. Fits the role. What's she doing? Oh, so she's been there, probably chatting with the blacksmith. Maybe if he's maybe since she's there a little bit early, if he's still working on any finishing touches on the pickaxes, then probably waiting for that to get done. But just kind of just kind of uh loitering generally. Hmm. Morning, Tristan! Or should I say Mr. Well Shirt? Hmm. You know, I never actually asked you what you wanted to be called fully. He doesn't hear you over all the banging. Oh. <laughs> like, does the I'm watching you motion to him to try and get his attention? No, no, how that, that's, that's... She, like, holds her head for a second when he's... No? No. No, 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 no. Is there no, a different... No, no, that, that, that's how still you... kind of like the... Still kind of rude. How do you say... What's a... Then what do I... Uh... We get closer... Uh, but not where we're not allowed. But what just hand kinda, sign do I do? Kind of like, you can, like, wave, like, a normal. He's kind of, like, lifts up his arm and waves a little. He's kind of like, oh, like waves the back of their head. <laughs> uh, he notices your tiny little lizard hand. <laughs> and kind of st- pauses, stops, turns. Oh, yeah, you're picking up the shields that I... All right. And he'll go pick up the shields off of, like, a back table. How you doing? I'm finishing a pickaxe. Vari, at this point, has noticed you all, but is pretending not to. Not to move. Mm-hmm. <laughs> well, he'll just, uh, slide the shields over the table and... Unless you're doing business with you. Uh, that looks really oh my. Very nice. If you ever, like, you know, uh, change your location or whatever, definitely... Go like to Kreda, like shit. They would be impressed with some of your work. Um. Well, I'm here. I do have a question, actually. Mm, yeah. It, do you sell hand crossbows? I'm not really a Fletcher. Those are a little too wooden for my tastes. <laughs> Very well. Thank you. I sell bolts. Um. I believe I'm good for now. And he goes back to, like, rhythmically, like, pounding out this pickaxe. By the way, has Vari changed what she was wearing since, you know, we first met? Nope. You think Vari has other clothes? <laughs> yeah. So, Uri, you think I can afford other clothes? Ha! It's fucking snake hobo. Oh, I gave, I gave the blacksmith all the money I owned in my life. <laughs> those, those were my life savings. Not even gonna say hi? Just kind of turns, just kind of like waves awkwardly. Oh, are you? Uh, oh, hello. My name's um. I'm. My name's Patricia. I don't believe we've met before. I don't believe we've met before. I'm kind of just kind of like kind of like grimacing, like. Eh. Okay. All right. They notice. They pick up on <laughs> <All right>. it. <laughs> 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 Darn. Guess we must have mistaken you for a different friend. <laughs> Weird. Is it is it is it somebody is it somebody in my uh in in my in my gardening club that you might know? That's possible. Yes. Um. Uh, thaumaturgy to make my <laughs> eyes look human. The eyes thing. Do they <laughs> flicker every now and then? <laughs> she like sneezes and they go back for a second. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Now, if you uh, see, yeah. yeah. If you see V, could you, like, tell them that we're going to be doing an experiment? Oh, uh, yes, certainly, certainly will. Uh, Is there any sort of message that you want me to pass along to them? Uh, Let's see. Anything more specific? Uh, I can get, like, some ingredients for we to make some lunch and whatnot outline, right? Oh, yes, at the market, and then we were going to meet up at the caravan. I suppose you could invite V for us. 
Ah, uh, yes, because V definitely should know where the caravan's at, right? Oh, yeah, it's the one that's, like, just outside of town. Of course. Everyone knows about the Southgate caravan. <sighs> okay, noted. I will I will pass this along. You're real lucky this guy's just hammering at this metal. <laughs> <laughs> we are not subtle at all. <laughs> I will I will pass that along. Wink. <laughs> Finger guns, pow pow. Pow pow. Um they're gonna look for a mixture of like fresh vegetables, cheap like wild stuff, like onion, celery type deal, maybe some garlic if they're lucky. And the main thing they're gonna be looking for and spending their gold on is they wanna find like a choice cut of meat. Mm. Like, something that's a little bit more expensive to, you know, feed and prepare everyone, and also they just really want to share their cooking because that's rather important to them, and culturally something that they would like to share. Yeah, those, those are things you can find in the market. It's post-harvest, or right around harvest time, so a lot of things are in season. Are there any cool spices? Have you been in this area before? How it has been in this area, it just... Not often. Mm. They're not super familiar with it. Mm-hmm. Um, it's a lot of your normal spices that you would find for this continent. Mm -hmm. uh, a lot of the like spices that you would find from elsewhere are kind of closer to the ports. Okay. Or the capital. So you're saying there's like capital import spices here in the market? No. Okay. I'm saying that you would find them closer to the things, oh, you're things that are out of the spices. <laughs> yes. Like, 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 I can't even find, like... I'd imagine yeah, I could find... find salt and pepper, right? Yeah, but okay. you can't find, like, some weirder things, like... Okay. You could never, you could never find saffron here. Could I find, like, some coriander, maybe? Those bastards. Probably. Okay. But that's about the most interesting it gets. That'll do, that'll do. They're thinking of planning a curry. So, what's what's exactly, what's what's the plan here, right? I'm looking for a central piece to make a curry. A northern blood hunter dish. So, you're making... Okay, Spiced okay, like, uh, meat, like... vegetables, and rice, if we can find it. And this is, this is going to be some sort of, like, some sort of like zombie bait for the, for the, for like the ambush. <laughs> <laughs> they intend to uh, silly me have thinking a party that you were meal. actually actually discussing plans for the upcoming days. No, you're just planning dinner. Okay, of course. No, we're we're talking. We're gonna talk no, about it over lunch. dinner. <laughs> lunch dinner. What is it? <laughs> it's, it's it's dinner. Every every meal's dinner. <laughs> Dinner for breakfast. <laughs> I'm hungry. <laughs> I'm hungry. A shoves entire raw fish in the throat. <laughs> mm. You said you fish. Could you cast bites on an empty stomach? Maybe. <laughs> kick, kicks, kicks, kicks dirt. Points finger, po pokes fingers together. Maybe. Uh. <laughs> I think fish would go excellent with the lack of harsher spices here. Normally I'd want a harder meat to pair with such strong spices, but because Lemstead seems to be lacking in flavor... Oh, they oh, eat a lot deal. of grains and carrots. <laughs> yeah. Um, I, I, yeah. And potatoes. <laughs> and potatoes, I'd imagine, yeah. If I could, I could make a potato curry. Potato curry's a good one. What do you mean, Lemstead's lacking in flavor? We're not- we're not putting the town in our curry. Oh, my apologies. I meant their spice selections. Oh, sorry, you were speaking very literally for a second there. Or I thought you were speaking very literally for a second there. I normally do. I'm trying to branch out. Should I stop? No, no, it's good. It's cool. It's... Hmm. You've confused her again, goddammit. <laughs> <laughs> it's an expression. Why is it unattractive? <laughs> <laughs> I feel like I'm missing a big part of the context of the conversation right now. Do you maybe want to- You're not the only one, what? <laughs> <laughs> well, if saying something hard is saying it's attractive, saying something cool would mean it's not, yes? 
I mean, I, 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 comparatively. You would think, yes. You could, al you could also describe think, something yes, cool but as being like. But the common like, language is like five languages in a trench coat. So. Like if something's like if something's like wicked, like like radical, you say that's cool. Common is not my first language, so. Can't that's not there. I need it. So you understand how? Yes. Uh, that's why I was so helpful on this. Makes a yeah. lot of sense. <laughs> Man, I, I, I totally, I totally. Bluntly, he's the only one in the party who's common, where common is his actual language besides Celsius, but is Celsius is Celsius, so I don't need to explain that. <laughs> <laughs> No, no, Halloway, I'm, I'm, I'm there with you. Honestly, I'm kind of in, I'm kind of in the same boat when it comes to common. You'll, you'll, you begin to learn that a lot of it actually boils down to the intentions that are behind the words instead of like the literal definition of yes. the words. It seems to be two-faced. A lot of. It's a very fickle thing. You'll get used to it. A lot of words which mean things other than what they mean, instead of different words to mean those things. Some words can yeah, have yeah, three but meanings. You're, you'll, yes. you'll, start, you'll start to pick up on it. You're doing good. My natural language, a word means one thing and one thing only, so getting used to these metaphors is challenging. <laughs> My first language is pretty on the nose. Stop trying to confuse her with more metaphors. Oh, so not. are we? Are is we? That how you uh, speak it? You said have on we... the nose. Son of a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> it's Back either that is a phrase I haven't learned and cataloged yet, or that means that you speak it nasally, which I've met folks who speak like that. Yeah, I it's, it's... they were dragonborn, and you're not a dragonborn. No, I'm a dragonborn. Fun fact: humming is actually humming is actually nasal. I got that uh, it's my done bad. nasally, done through your nostrils. Like try try plugging your nose. Like you can't hum while plugging your nose. <laughs> <laughs> we look like a bunch of clowns right now doing this in the middle of the market square. Are we? Are we? Are we? Are we, are we done with the? Oh, please, we concluded don't. today's shopping. Don't don't let me stop you from doing that. I, I was enjoying myself. Everyone pinches their nose and hums in the middle of the screen. Celsus looks at you all like, what I'm the fuck to, are you? I'm going to be stuck in this town. <laughs> God, I love mm. being the obsessed. Don't worry, buddy. We're not going to be stuck here forever. Hopefully. Yes, we'll either defeat the zombies and leave, or we'll all die. One can only hope. <laughs> <laughs> Aravad clearly has the look of wait, which one were you? <laughs> so this does not elaborate. <laughs> look, there's unless unless we unless the same thing happens in the last adventuring group where they just completely charge in because, from what I understand, they were a bunch of like beast hunters, like large, like big game hunters, essentially. Uh, but they didn't take into consideration that there was a lot of them. So if we just consider that there is mar like significantly more zombies than there are us, then we'll be fine. They're not that smart. We have, we have, we have a mental edge on them. Mm. Yes, and you've also mentioned, well, not you, but other people in town have mentioned that usually when they're leaving the town, they scatter out each door. We could try to track down one of the individual groups before it hits, heads back to the forest and ambush them one by one each night. The fields seem a decent spot to fight. Well, is it, is it the lantern that we're after now, or is it is this just an ambush for the sake of having an ambush? A test of... Test out on our, on these guys, and I point to the smart group behind me, probably, <laughs> are testing out their new zombie-destroying bomb. I don't know if it'll work. They didn't even ask if they wanted holy water. Honestly, it's I'm not I'm, I'm not sure that. <laughs> if it doesn't work, I've been practicing a spell recently. If it doesn't work, we have traditional methods. Yeah, exactly. Now I I hate to be the bearer of like burst your bubble here, but is bringing a bomb into such claustrophobic tunnels that are under risk of collapse such a good idea? 
it's Only more like a chemical like bomb, chemical thing like holy water. Excuse me. I oh, tried to be able to recreate with less cost. Excuse okay, me. okay. That's yes. What's up? Already quite aware of the structural integrity of the tunnels, this bomb is not designed to cause any disruption whatsoever. Oh, I'm satisfied to know that you've been using your noodles, all of you. I think things will go quite well, honestly. I'm not even going to try and parse what that one means. <laughs> Using our brains. Yeah, you use... You, use your head fruit. Ugh. <laughs> it takes their head. You're thinking Now box. you're just making things up. <laughs> no, I've actually heard too much some of fun. these. Far too much fun messing with me. I don't appreciate it. <laughs> Who the hell says using your head fruit? <laughs> <laughs> Mainly children, from what I remember. Who sent it for you, Vari? Look, I, 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 I come, I come from a wild place, man. <laughs> huh. I've heard all sorts of phrases and expressions from all, all across the continents. You have to tell me a story sometime. Yes, maybe, maybe while we're fishing, we can, we can exchange some stories. Hmm. Speaking of which. If you want fish for the curry, you're going to have to catch your own. I'm not, I'm not doing that for you quite yet. That's easy. Not, w not without, not without some sort of compensation for it. I can pay you. Also, hmm. you're welcome to join for the meal. If that is compensation enough for you, you can eat as much as you'd like. Well, I was. Um, if we're if we're wrapping up. Whatever it is that you've been that you've been shopping here for here in Lemstead, right? If your shopping day's about concluded, I'm going to be heading back to my camp, and maybe I can show you around my my my, my digs. You know? Did you just say that? <laughs> oh my god! My my hideout, my burrow. It's 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 actually by the water. It's where I source most of my food from, so that I'm not. Taking any of my compatriots rations throughout um, throughout our work mm. days. It's where I do all of my fishing, and despite all the animals seemingly having disappeared from these woods, uh, the fishes, the aquatic beasts, their numbers have actually seemed to um, be above that of th the average amount. I'm assuming from the uh, the lack of predators, since most natural predators have vacated from these parts. I was fishing the other day, and I actually, I actually managed to um, to catch quite the big creature out of the water. I, I still, have, I still have some of the leftover, leftover meat from it. If that would suit you. It still concerns me that the birds have also left the area. Well, Maybe whatever it's of the it is, I can we take saw? a look at it if you want. Then get started. I need to start this. As soon as I can, really, in order to be ready in time. Alright, if you don't mind, I'm going to run ahead now and tidy up. It was raining yesterday, and I do I do kind of, like, camp out, like, in the open, like, mm. in in the dirt next to a river. It's all it's all basically mud that hasn't quite dried yet, and everything's kind of sliding around. <laughs> I see. It's homely. <laughs> You'll love it, I'm sure. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't seem like Allied's bothered by that. <laughs> it reminds me of home, to be quite honest. It's it's quite comforting in some ways, in other ways not so much. But you know, everyone's home has a mixed bag, in some in some form or another. Hmm. Indeed. Anyway, I'll, I'll I'll leave you to wrap up whatever you were doing. Um, directions, yes. Well, to find me, just. Okay, this is going to sound weird. You're going to want to just follow follow the stream that's sort of at the um at the one at the one exit from town. You know, you know the one. You're gonna to want to follow that one directly opposite of town. Keep going that way. And this is going to sound really weird, but if you have something like if you, if a random object is like thrown from a tree and it like hits you in the head, that means you're getting close. I'll 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 be on the lookout for you as well. Now did. No, yes, if, if 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 there's something like up in the trees that's like dropping things on you, that's just shoelace. Call him by name, and you'll probably stop throwing things at you. 
Noted. Um, how, I, I'm gonna finish paying for everything that I've got. How much do I have to spend on, like, supplies for food? Um, uh, a gold and a half. Sounds good to me. So I'm gonna head back and start preparing everything. Getting this food all ready. And I am going to use a little bit of the, uh, the dried spicy pepper that I had. Ooh. Told folks about earlier. Yeah. Make a traditional uh, blood hunter meal. It's gonna be really awkward if I show up before everyone else showed up. I'll just have to talk to Ava alone. How late's their cooking? How okay. late is their cooking? Okay. I there's a war horse tied up out front because I'm I just gonna to I'm gonna I'm gonna go up to like the front and be like, like I'm gonna look around like is if there's like a bell that I need to ring or like a door I can knock on that sort of deal. It's a, it's a, there's a, the wooden frame of the cart that you can knock on. All right. I'm, I'm just going, going to, I'm going to poke just going Uriet and say, he's outside. Mola, just let me know. Go bother him. <laughs> knock, knock. I'm outside. Is this, is this the, um, <clears throat> gardening club? <laughs> Welcome, fellow gardener. You're just in time. Ah uh, yes, I've I've also um I also swung back to the blacksmith and picked up my gardening equipment. I'm carrying two pickaxes. <laughs> and I am preparing a garden fresh meal. I brought a fr <laughs> freshly picked fish. By by from horse the garden. is the most mullet is for in the a most garden potluck, yes. Horse way laughing his ass off. Uh, just in time to meet the other Gardeners, Patricia. <laughs> All right, we 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 can drop the whole gardening act thing once I'm actually in. I did not know to what extent you wanted to hide your identity. <laughs> it's it's only for when we we're like in like actually Just get in, in here monster. already. Yes, I'm I'm <laughs> above board. I am I am talking about this while I'm while I'm entering. You cannot boss me around. Tell me what to do. <laughs> Fari, as you kind of enter, you get this weird kind of. You know when your ears pop? Mm-hmm. Yeah, like... Your ears pop for just a second as you enter. As, like, you realize, oh, this is way bigger on the inside. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Can I do, like, a like an Arcana check real quick? Yeah, sure. <laughs> Look at my Arcana check, guys. Nice, <laughs> dude. Hi, Arcane. That sure is magic. <laughs> that yep. sure is magic. Okay, yeah, that that was that was definitely something. Is there like some sort of magical effect going on in this caravan that I should be aware of? Magical Other than it's bigger on the inside, I don't know. Ah, uh, yes, Literally you told me you told me all about it. That there's some sort of curry magic. curry ritual going on in here. Also, ritual hello. Mayhaps not the right word for it, but preparation. Hello. Yes. How light motions to like a array of chopped up and prepared vegetables. Some ground spices and a boiling pot. Oh well, here we are. Oh, and watch robotic. out for the robot. He's a nuisance. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. What now? <laughs> Ava will pull it on a rope, and descending from the ceiling, like a hatch opens from the ceiling, and tied to a chair, you see the very large brass you don't know what it would be it seems like a contraption but it's like trying to wriggle free of the metal chains that it is bound in the orb is aggressive <laughs> his yes. name is ralph that one was born with the desire to kill yep and ava will pull the oh. rope and put him back in the ceiling <laughs> i think i like ralph <laughs> <laughs> would you like to keep him Quite I think rough. I'll actually I I'll have to pass on that one. Thank you very much. Yep, that's what everyone says. <laughs> I'm not ready to take care of an orb yet. I do not have the emotional maturity for that sort of deal. Ava's going to like kind of lean down towards how like is she always this weird? Yes, I do believe so. You really attract a crowd. <laughs> Seems to be the pattern, I guess. How like did we agree on a on a price for me giving you this fish? Cause whatever we talked about immediately evacuated my mind within five minutes, just to let you know. 
My suggestion was merely allowing you to have as much food as you wish. Hey, you know what? It works It works for me. Then it is a deal. Ah. Here. I think so. If you could place it here, we'll follow through with scaling and deboning it. One step ahead of you there. Uh, I'll place out the pre-prepared, uh, like, roasted fish rations. Mm. Yeah. I had made the oh, other I day. See. You've already prepared them. Excellent. It saves me a lot of work. And, uh... Nothing like a little bit of... Nothing like a little bit of heat and a good rock surface. <laughs> Get the job that, done. Uh, they're gonna take, like, a, a few of the vegetables and the smell of, like, uh, roasting garlic and onions just starts to waft through the caravan. You know, that lovely, like, aromatic smell. Do you want me to roll for cooking in any way? Sure. Let's, let's see your culinary acuity. Yo! Damn. That's some damn good cooking. Kind of standing there eyeing the group. Yeah, Paranoid. I'm just watching watching how lights shuffle around with the curry. You suddenly feel a weight on your, on, on your back. Oh dear god. <laughs> <laughs> no! <laughs> oh, have fun with this. <laughs> Oh, I've let Rain out of my sight, haven't I? Cells <laughs> is just in the back. Ah, oh, good. It's him. Who are you? I think there's some there's some sort of Is this is this another one of your robots? What's what's what is this? What's going on right now? What is Rain, this? Child. Don't jump on people! That's a child, Fabio. I'm a robot. I'm at the back scene. I'm Rain. Ah, yes, I think um Oh, you're Rain. Hi. Well, hello then. Your um, your compatriots here have have told me a little bit about you. Oh, it's it's nice to say? finally it's nice to finally meet you. I don't know if you should bring that up like like a friendly like dinner conversation, you know. But <laughs> running around you. Why they say? You, why they say? <laughs> if you wouldn't mind, they they did tell me a little bit about your um, your previous experiences with them um, with running in with the undead. Oh, you mean my hand? I have it back now. It's okay. Yes, I I, I noticed that. It it seems like they have um they've they've sorted all of that out, which is relieving. No no child should have to experience life without all of their extremities at their disposal. What are you? Um, I'm. Well, first off, my name is Vari. Hi. Nice to meet you again. I am I am one of the uh, one of the ones who are working on right now clearing out the the ruins which lay be in, lay beneath this town. I am I am friends with with Cross and by extension with Baron as well. I like your long ears. Thank you. You ha you have a good sense in in fashionable cloaks. I may I may point out as well. Hmm. Thank you. I have present digitation. Oh, oh, great! There, there goes my gardener disguise. Oh well. So what are you good at? What am I good at? At this rate, we should practically call ourselves the gardening club. Not going around calling ourselves the gardening club. That's what you think. Look at the snake. <laughs> <laughs> well, at I'm... this, I walk. I get up, <laughs> walk over. Pick up Raid, put her on my shoulders, <laughs> and walk away. I was having, I was having I'm, a conversation I'm, 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 with a nice person. I'll, I'll walk, I'll walk with Aaron, kind of like trying to continue to walk talking. Walk back to the table with it. You're still on my back on my shoulders. Oh, is, is it, is it time for curry already? No, I just need to keep a tighter grip on this one. <laughs> right, so you don't want, you don't want to, um, you don't want children, you, you know, like wandering into like an underground murder tomb. Uh, why? I'm really good at sneaking and stabbing things. You're also good at getting yourself into trouble. Well, only, oh, not often. Not, not quite as good I, at getting out of it. <laughs> I, I pride myself in keeping those around me safe and secure. I've I've been I've been hired on by Cross to um, to act as one of his bodyguards while we are conducting our research in the underground ruins of Gila Moor. I also cool. occupy myself with calligraphy in my spare time. Calligraph calligraphy? Yes. What's the that? The art of writing fancy. Yes, Aravan knows all about it. 
Pikachu. No, I don't. I just. I've seen some of your handwriting, Eric. <laughs> it is. Oh, I probably should bring that up. Whoops. Wait, where did you see my <laughs> handwriting? Don't, don't, Loud don't worry about it. Oh, just sip of her drink. <clears throat> could you, could you, could you, yeah, could you I'll, be I'll drink to that as well. <laughs> hold on, hold on. Does Aravon ask further insight check? Aravon insight. Oh! oh. 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 just pieced it together, guys. <laughs> yep, he finally figured it out. He figured it out. He figured it out. Oh, this Wait is a minute. <laughs> yes, and as a matter of fact, if. If you would allow me to go back to my camp and pick up my calligraphy tools, I think I could teach you a thing or two. <laughs> Hand on shoulder, tight grip. <laughs> I lead over and quietly, so Ray can out here. You and I are going to have a lot of things to discuss after the ch while the child is asleep. Am I understood? <laughs> I'd be happy to party to your whatever questions you may have for me. Everyone. I now release believe, you. Believe me, you. <laughs> believe me, you, Erevan. I'd, I'd be happy to have a little bit of a one-on-one -on -one talk with you. Erevan, what do you mean I'm not gonna get away? You don't know what I've done. Pardon me for interrupting. Are there any allergies in the room I need to be aware of? Death. Paylor. Allergic to death, allergic to Paylor. <laughs> I'm not stewing Erevan. I don't see what... <laughs> what type of an allergy... Never mind, I'm not And yet I might over. be stewing anyway. <gasps> You're allergic to stew? What? No. <laughs> I'm sorry, I didn't hear you. Sorry, I keep forgetting. It's loud in here. Can no, I do up? not have any allergies. Okay. Good to know. I mean, I don't like the... I didn't like the smelly stuff that my father kept around in a flask. Well, Alcohol. shit. Liquefied catnip. Um, <laughs> <laughs> that's dangerous. I I think I think as far as like any anything that might be dangerous to me that you're putting in this too, I should be fine. I I literally I literally drink poison out of my flasks to keep the mosquitoes off of me. Why is that another metaphor? Oh no, I I'm being a hundred percent literal with you right now. Wait, why do you drink poison? Doesn't that hurt you? How can you afford that much poison? <laughs> uh, I'm, 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 I'm actually starting to run out on it. Back back where I come from, all, there's all sorts of plants out there. Out, out in the mire, pretty much anything that, that lives is in competition with one another to, to, to kill anything. Can I put my dagger in it? Did you just say the mire? Yes. Yes, as a matter of fact, I did. You come from the mire? If it wasn't kind of like doing like the whole like motion to yourself like if it wasn't apparent from my whole deal I'm not from around here I did not know fair enough however the mire is a place of interest to me you say there are poisonous plants abundant there yes Very uh huh yes That's, that, is, that is true I wish to study the local flora and fauna of the the mire a bit closer once we end up there. It is upon mm. my list of things to do, I suppose you could say. I wouldn't mind knowing where to start. I'm gonna I'm gonna sort around and I'm gonna check out my like my canteen. Well, for starters, I do have the crushed stems and flowers of some highly poisonous plants which are native to the mire, if you want to Yes. Starts with oh, this. Oh, it says almost like too quickly, kind of coming over to the table. Just like very interested. Yes. Don't drink any of it. It will kill you. Of course. All right. Is this in particular? They tap one of the vials. That there is a waxy bone. <laughs> waxy bone. Waxy bone. Named for <laughs> the flower petals, which are coated in a potent venom. Giving them kind venom of is waxy particularly sheen. waxy. Yeah, and it's kind of waxy. And it will reduce you to a skeleton immediately upon contact. I'm making this up as well. I'm, I'm deciding this for the plant. It turns you into a skeleton. I suppose this would make one. It very, sorts like... Very I'm just joking. It dissolves flesh. All it's right. uh, highly basic, making it waxy and slippery. Mm -hmm. And 
much like acid can dissolve flesh, so can and this. and if you dilute it in a bit of water and have um, certain immunities, if if your if your physiology so allows it, then diluting it in water is also a great way to keep the bugs off of you when you're out, out in the wilderness. Mm. I do not believe my physiology allows for that, but... Definitely not in this town. <laughs> there are some other applications I could see this being very, very useful for. I'm going to have to pick up more of this when we swing by there. Thank you, Mavari. Ah, yeah, no problem. Can I have that back when you're done with it, by the way? It is my only canteen, and I'm not exactly... <sighs> Not yes. exactly in, in... I can't exactly afford to buy another one. I'll simply make note of it. They write some stuff down about it, do a small sketch, and they head back to Bari. And as they're doing that, they realize, oh, I suppose I should... And they head back to the kitchen to make sure everything's going well. Ava is, uh, stirring. <laughs> I like, just kind of, like, lets out a small breath, like, thank you, sorry. <laughs> Uh, and they're gonna prepare the rest of the meal, I suppose. Nice. Yeah. Awesome. I imagine they come out with, like, a big old pot of rice, maybe. Both carrying, like, the huge curry pot or whatever. Bunch of bowls. Smells. Do, do you, do you need a hand? Good, very do you spicy. need a hand with any of that? That is, um, that is quite a lot to carry at once. It's good, it's good. Um, actually, for the curry, could you grab the other side real quick? Are, are we just carrying this out to the rest? Or mm, what? Yes. Let everyone serve themselves. <sighs> it smells good. This is nice. I like this. This is a recipe from my... from my family, I suppose. It is called... Carrie. Okay. Yes. I'll try so. Tally on a scale of 1 to 10. 10 being Tally can't even handle this. <laughs> One being, Wesley might be able to handle this. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> um. Can you handle your spice, sir? Let's see. Do we think the? Do you even spice? I don't eat spicy things. Do I you even know. spice, bro? Oh, All D10 for spice. Food, unaware <laughs> that the rest of the world cooks food differently. This is about a seven. All right. Everyone needs to roll me a Constitution saving <laughs> throw. Hell yeah. For how Hell yeah. Wait, Here even we go. Are you? Not Uriet, you're right. Give Uriet an advantage. <laughs> no, Uriet can handle it. Uriet can, can handle it. Cool. Uriet likes the spice. <laughs> this is one of those dishes oh, where the, uh, the the more rice you mm -hmm. take, the more handleable it is. So you can definitely portion it out so it doesn't kill you. DC of 10. Hey, Rain! Oh, and Rain have no Fucking problem. Child. The other two, though. Fari just didn't grab rice. <laughs> Vari just wanted the fish. Just take a bite. I just want the fish. Oh, and you can feel like this burning sensation start from like the front of your mouth and go all the way back and then down your esophagus. Vari's gonna think she's being poisoned. Vari's <laughs> just like, did you put my thing in the? <laughs> did you put the waxy bone into the no. food? I can't be poisoned. That's yeah. a, that's impossible. Are you experienced being no. poisoned for the first time? No, impossible. What is this? You're sure you don't? You, you're, you're sure you don't want any rice, Mari? Yes, it might be a little intense for a southerner like yourself. <laughs> All right. Mari is sweating. Can <laughs> <laughs> lizards sweat? I don't. Can Yanti no. sweat? No, they can't. <laughs> lizards cannot sweat. Yanti might be able Despite not being to. able to sweat, Vari is still doing it. <laughs> 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 it's because I've been spritzing water on my face. Like, why? Why? What, what, what is this? Why do I feel like I'm on fire from the inside? Because this is some spicy stuff. Oh, that would be the mountain peppers. Maybe how how light like pulls out a little pouch from like their cloak and just shows it's just this brilliant, very small red pepper. Uh, yes. Um. Maybe maybe it's just that I'm not used to the poisons from the mountains. That's all. <laughs> You just pepper in the shit. Celsus so <laughs> eats it, mo mostly eats the rice, but sometimes eats the actual curry portion and is like, hmm, despite me not being able to handle it well, it's nice to have some food of actual quality again. 
Oh, just Thank another you, carrot sausage. sandwich. Coming from you, that means yes. quite a lot. <laughs> <laughs> or mashed potatoes. I presume that if it was even remotely unsatisfactory, you would have not eat it at all. <laughs> <laughs> they think back to the bread. <laughs> <laughs> This is really good. I like this. I'm glad I can provide for you all. He just gives you a big fucking <laughs> smile. It is For cute. me, food is the place where everyone's true emotions can be laid bare. Where a friendship. I feel like I'm dying constantly. <laughs> where mm -hmm. apparently Vari leaves the mortal realm. Uh, I did not. I, I know your physiology is different. I hope. I hope you did not have an allergy you were unaware of. I did check for a reason. <laughs> I hand Vari. I pour Vari another glass of water. Because <laughs> I imagine she's drinking hers already. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> yes. Thank you for that. <laughs> is that where the sweat comes from? She just splashes her face. Yes, that's, that's what she's she doing. Right. Right. She does not it understand that it the back, heat but still is coming glass. from like the food. Yeah, <laughs> or coming from like her mouth. In the short term. <laughs> I imagine I she's that. just taking the full glass and she's really burning, so she's quick trying to drink it, and just slap it, splashing herself in the face. Oh. <laughs> Drinking problem moment. <laughs> I want to imagine it's like, 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 like some sort of food equivalent to like the Sichuan peppercorn, where it's a, like, mouth numbing effect. Ooh. It's just bizarre. <laughs> and anyone who's never had it before just goes like, "What the fuck is in my mouth?" <laughs> I think they had something similar to this on one of the uh, festival days back at the capital. Hmm. I do know that some. The folks from up where I'm from did travel down during festival times. Mayhaps he ran by some of them. Maybe. I don't know. There's water in my I eyes. I didn't get to know all the street vendors personally, because a lot of them came and went, depending on the festival. Vari has definitely, like, touched her eyes like, oh, no. after eating the curry. Oh, no. Uh, Hell, I will, like, see that and quickly try and grab her, her hands <laughs> away, knowing that's a terrible idea. <laughs> Just, like, no, you poor thing! The moment Maria sees that, her hands are clean. I'm still gonna Amazing. grab her hands away. Just rubbing my face. Yeah, okay. Don't, don't do that. You will, you will irritate your eyes. I'm basically <laughs> acting like a dog that's just eating something spicy and doesn't understand what's happening. It's fine, I cleaned her hands. <laughs> Come. How do you, uh, find this, idiot? I know you're... More accustomed to this type of food. Oh, about a seven on the spicy scale. A seven. Yes. Yeah, maybe six point five. In relation to what? The spiciest thing I've ever had. What's the spiciest thing? A twelve? Oh, nah, nah. It's a scale of one to ten. So the spiciest thing would be a ten, oh. and that would have. Had to have been. Uh, that probably would have had to have been Quiona's. Uh, yeah, that'd have to be her spicy bean bread. Hmm. She did that as an experiment and to tease me. It was hilarious and I loved it. Vari's counting on her fingers while you're talking. I'd love to try something like that one time. It's been far too long since food gave me any heat. Yeah. Well, well, for me, this has been quite a um, an unsuspect, unexpected new experience. I can't say that I'm quite enjoying it. I'm glad to provide <laughs> something new for you, Vari. Yes, it's 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 always a pleasure, right? Wide open world out there, lots lots of things to see and experience. This is oh, what yeah. I wanted. Like, just kind, just kind smiling. of like, just, just kind of like, like mumbling yeah. to herself through tears. This is what I wanted. <laughs> I fought right. for this, goddammit. All right, you. Like, huh? Mm -hmm. Yes. Here, let me just try something here real quick. He'll whistle again, and he'll try to use presentation to lower the spicy levels of her food. Yes. No. Oh, there we go. I think it's. I think it's beginning to pass. Whatever. Whatever got into my food. I think I'm ready to try some more. <laughs> uh, should I tell her that her food got into her food? 
Very well. Let her figure that out herself. Mmm, <laughs> fish. <laughs> God. <laughs> oh, I'm on a seafood diet, okay? I see food, I eat it. <laughs> uh, bringing the dad energy back even when you're not playing a dad. It's uncontrollable, it's unstoppable at this point. Celsus. Hmm. Out of everyone here, they are the one I know the least about. Where are you from originally? I don't like the silence that's fallen over everybody right now. This, this is this is this is really foreboding. If you ask me, this is honestly unsettling. Doesn't really say much for a moment. <laughs> then just kind of like, I doubt you've heard of it, but I'm from a place called Lustrum. Have I heard of Lustrum? God no. <laughs> If it's anywhere overseas, I definitely have not heard of it. Yeah, I've not heard of it. Have I heard of Lustra? Lustrum? No. The only one who probably would have heard of it is Erevon. Erevon, can you give me a history check? Hold on. Wait. Lustrum? Have you heard of it? Isn't that... Is... Ah. Hmm. Isn't that underground? Yes, somewhat. Oh, that would explain why I haven't heard of it. That's cool. Like Elamor. No, far deeper. It's it's a, one of the major trading cities in the Underdark. Oh. That's... That's cool. I, I will ask for stories later. I'm asking for stories now. There's Curry in front of us. It's Lustrum-like. It's very... Hmm... Well, I don't quite like to talk about my origins much. Let's just say I left there for a reason. Hmm. Nodding, yeah, nodding. Well. It's a fine city. Hey, you're that big of a place for a not really great reason. Never fun. <laughs> Imagine I wouldn't enjoy it, but then again, I don't tend to enjoy being underground for extended periods of time. Neither do I. Mm, wow, that's where some of the best hot rocks are. Hot rocks. You're the type that wants to go underground. You can be my guest to all the hot rocks that you want. I have hot rocks right up here, buddy. Barry, that is a tomato. It's <laughs> 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 a tomato. Uh, I'm talking about. I'm, fair, talking about expecting... I'm talking about the hot rock I sleep on every day, but. Uh, <laughs> I, why, I why, thought why he was going to go underground. I thought for Barry those. was going to be flexing or something. <laughs> 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 like a Liga tomato flexing. Sorry, <laughs> that is a tomato. <laughs> <laughs> not something I wouldn't do, but not what I'm doing. <laughs> it's Bobby. I'm from like a, a deserty place. Oh. So like, you know, there's a lot. There's a lot of sand on deserts, right? Yeah, sometimes I'd burrow underneath of it and, like, kind of, you know, lay on some of the rocks I'd find over there. Really nice and comfortable. That sounds like a place that I'd wish to see one of these days. Yeah, maybe one day. Yeah, maybe one day. You're right. It would be nice to go back, but I don't know if uh, I should yet. <laughs> oh, is that so? Yeah. Yeah. So, what is it anyway? What... Seems like everybody here, like, is here for another one reason or another. We all have our own reasons, yes. I'm searching for stuff on curses. I'm looking for a Ooh. magical item. One that may or may not exist. If it does, it solves my problem. If it does not, it doesn't change anything else about my life, so... I suppose I'm also here for the journey along the way. Ah, oh, but how I don't you know the journey's the treasure all along? If you start trying to shove your proverbs down my throat, I'll start <laughs> learning more metaphors, and then I'll be able to have the upper hand for once. <laughs> ah, it's not a proverb, it's one of those things that people do in storytelling. Fine, your motivational speeches, your 
Oh, you God. are quite good at those. I'm not trying to dismiss that. Merely... And am I good at those? May I remind you of two days ago out in the woods when we went to gather materials? Oh, uh, right. <clears throat> You're excellently motivational. I right? uh, what about the others? Uh, let's see. Uh. But, like I said, I come from the mountain ranges up north. An area about a few miles or so to the east of Strok. I don't think I've heard of that place. Probably not. That's probably too far. Up in the part of Drybus? Up in the Drybus Empire? Or are you on the other side of the mountain range? No, not the other side of the mountain range. In the mountain range. Hmm. Uh. I lived as a group of nomads called the Blood Hunters. They were private, kind, accepting group. Primarily of elves in the nearby city of Cylindria. Hmm. Druidic types, hunters, that sort of thing. Very much less grandiose than I'd imagine a place like Loxham would be, or safe for that matter. Well, is this. Are you still a blood hunter, or is this something that was part of your like? Is this still like in the past now? Where, where, where exactly are you currently? Hmm. I'm still a blood hunter. It simply was the time for me to leave, I suppose, to seek my own path, if you will. All of the teachings, all of the traditions, and tactics of the hunters I still carry with me today. You're eating one of them as it happens. What, the hunters? Oh no, what you put in there with the fish? <laughs> it's fish, Fari. <laughs> I'm joking, it's, it's, yes, I know. I could not tell. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I suppose I don't normally like to speak on them to just anyone I've met before. Some people find our practices demonic. Well, who's exactly to be judged at that? I haven't exactly heard what your practices even are. The Cylindrians. High elves. People that think that our magic is unclean. Yeah, they say, tend to say that about anything that isn't their magic. That is what I'm coming to learn. I don't believe it's necessarily a facet of our magic in particular, but merely the act of going against their grain of their culture. The defiance of what a high elf would be. The thought of a high elf living out in the wilderness on their own appalls them, I suppose. Yeah, they... yeah, they... Well, you know. From my perspective, I can't imagine not wanting to live out under the stars. Hmm. Huh. I can understand the appeal of a rustic life. So that's that's kind of the whole deal of the Bloodhunters, then. They just wanted to find their own way out, and sort of, through doing that, ended up finding each other? It's a very good way to put it, yes. Nice. Yeah, that's that's it's the most respectable organization I've heard about yet. I like thinks about the reason why people found the blood hunting strange and thinks, you know, maybe I won't mention that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, come on. Uh, what time is it? It's uh just past sunset. Uh, time like to find minutes. ourselves some undead. Besides, we need to go over the plan anyway. <laughs> In any case, if I may offer one bit of wisdom on this whole situation we're in right now, the storm has already passed. The hard times are likely over. But that's just like that's just like wind and like clouds and stuff. Having faith in the wind and clouds has never steered me wrong. I just wanted to make sure that whatever it is that you're planning to go through with tonight, that. In preparation for the upcoming um, ambush and the running of the lantern across the cavern floor to bring it to the to the acid pool, 
I wanted to make sure that everybody is at their... That, is, that everybody is in peak shape going to that. I do not see that it is an operation where we should be allowing any sort of room for error. So what is it that you're looking to... That you're looking to do tonight, specifically? A simple test. We want to see what... how... The conditions under which those zombies will revive, like you and Cross stated. And how they interact with the reverse leaf rod serum that we've been tweaking. So you want to just go find some poor wayward undead soul, throw a bomb at them, and then just come back a bit later and see what's happened? Yes. Alright. That's... yeah, that sounds good. Definitely, definitely best advice would be testing your weapons before applying them into any sort of life or death scenarios. Preparedness is often the difference between life and death. I could probably get behind it and cut the tendons in its ankles so they can't run away and you guys can just drag it into a room and lock it in there. Unfortunately, magic usually keeps them walking even without flesh. <laughs> Say, is there like a fire that was like kept underneath the curry to keep it like hot? Probably, yes. yeah. Uh, How light is going to extinguish the fire, but before they do, um, they're gonna kind of like kneel down in front of the pot and for like the first time since any of you ever met them, you see them like mutter a small prayer and then suffocate the fire. Blood earned thing. I do the same thing every time I kill a fish. It's normal. Anyway, before we get going, I should go do my evening prayers. Do you wish to join me, Rain? Okay. I think I'd like that. As soon as these two leave, like, Vari's just gonna, like, look at the rest and be like, Poor thing, already being indoctrinated. <laughs> <laughs> and who are you to judge? It's a shame. Oh, I, I, I can I can judge all day long. I'm, I am my own person. I can do that whenever I wish. <laughs> Fine then, under what I've, I've had I've had enough experiences with large organizations to know that they often do get them when they're young, and that's... Uh... Sounds like you're talking about cults. <laughs> Imagine for a minute that I know a thing or two about cults, or yet. Just yeah. hypothetically speaking. Wait, why are we talking hypothetically? I don't know, why do you want to bring up cults all of a sudden? It yeah, feels like you were doing that for some specific reason. It. I mean, some people classify church religions as cults. As far as, like, of course, like Paylor, the whole Church of Paylor and the whole shield sort of thing that rides the line. Mm -hmm. I don't believe following a humble faith such as Paylor classifies as a cult. There's no issue holding faith in, like, a in a higher being or any sorts of that sort of thing. It's the issue more comes from the people who are in, you know, in so to speak. Oh, yeah, what there's... they might, what they might expect, what they might want from the from their subordinates, from the people who are below them. Yeah, the corrupt ones are always the worst. Or you know, the god they worship could just be a prick. True. True. Not every god's a good god. Not every god gives a shit about you. Gods aren't the only subjects worthy of worship. True. Or worthy of respect, in that matter. Some people, if I remember correctly, worship the elements. Some worship rulers. Some worship the field. Have you ever talked to some farmers these days? I'm yes. not much of a spiritual person myself, but... You could say that I pay respect. And some worship very nonsensical things. Like a pink talking elephant? Yes, exactly like that. Wait, you've met someone that worships a pink talking elephant? Does no. the pink could talking elephant have good ideals? What is an elephant? Yeah. Fari, you're better at drawing. Elephants don't exist on this continent. Oh my. Never mind, I don't know what that is. an explanation of what an elephant is. <laughs> I've only is it a mythical I've only ever seen one. There was this odd sorcerer. He had an elephant. Really? Do have tusks or no tusks? 
They didn't have tusks. Huh, what if you took them for ivory? Is this similar to a boar? Uh, it's bigger, like, uh, something can be as small as, like, a uh, small house, and others can get as tall and big as, like, a two-story house. Sometimes bigger. Depends on what you feed them and if there's magic involved. So a boar the size of a dragon? Mm, yeah, could get as big as a... Does it oink fire? A uh, no, no, but it can grab you with its trunk... And if it's near a body of water or any other sort of liquid, it can suck it into its nose trunk thing. Do they and, uh, persist here, I just draw in for an you. aura of permanent fear? It does not typically have an aura of fear. This is the scariest thing that anybody's ever described to me in my life. Hey, hang on. <laughs> it's like, just quickly <laughs> draw a rough sketch of an elephant. Terrifying. <laughs> hang on. And sometimes they'll have What's tusks the and sometimes they won't. What's the of that long proboscis? That is their essentially nose. Why are the horns coming out of the front of the face like that? That's their tusks, kind of like, you know, a boar. You know, boars have those little, like, front or tusks and whatnot, right? Yes, but these things are like, well, look at it. Yeah, they're massive. You do know it's, that this is, like, what I've It's horrible. Of. It's it's terrible. That's I ivory. love it. I yeah, love that, it. That, that, that's, there's some spell components that you need that you can only get from elephants. Spell that requires this particular beast. Very curious. Oh, yeah. Uh, the one? Um, shit. What is the spell? Celsus, do you remember what the spell needs? Ivory? I forget. Mm, there's a few, I believe. <laughs> Celsus has taken out and is, like, pl playing within his fingers his, go his ivory goats. <laughs> 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 Uh, that is a lot of... Uh, you do know that those would be worth a good amount in certain places, right? Yes, I do. These ones are mine, though. Well, as you and Brain are finishing up, you kind of see from where you are outside the gate that the zombies have moved into the city. Mm, zombie time. You may for a minute. <laughs> yes! E zombie time! Right, the goats. Are you going to attack them while they're in the city, or as they're leaving? We probably shouldn't rile the ones that are, uh, rile up the ones that are, like, near other people too much. I think we're gonna try yeah. and get a, like, straggling group. And we're basically just opening up a window in the caravan and they're, like, throwing a bomb out at a zombie. <laughs> <laughs> and what I'm also gonna do ahead of time is, right before we're gonna do that, I'm gonna scry on where the lantern is, just to make sure that we're not ambushing a group that is really close to the lantern zombie. Good idea. Mm, Good yeah. thinking. Aravan? Yeah? Do you think Pelor would let me serve him in some way? <laughs> oh, here we go. It's, it's already too late for her. <laughs> Shake's head. You, of course you would, as long as you're sincere about it. I think I would like to. Pelor will never know your name. <laughs> Not in your entire lifetime. <laughs> not not like saying not saying this not saying this so that they can hear it. Just saying this under her breath right now is what Barry's doing. Yeah, kid. All right, it's gonna be a long night. Why don't you run up and go? Why don't you go grab a bunk and get a few, get a little nap? Wait, we're not bringing her. Breath to the... Rather help. You, you know I'm capable. Oh, I know you're capable. I'm just saying, get a little nap before we go in. That's it's gonna be a long night. you will wake me sure up. This is a good yeah, idea. I'll wake you up, kid. Erevan. Yeah. Are you sure this is a good idea? Sure, no, but if she's gonna get involved in trouble, I'd rather be around than not. She points at her eyes and points at, at, at you, uh, Erevan, like that, I'm watching you. <laughs> and then, Every, everybody and then, just does that now. And it's a thing, it's spreading, yes! <laughs> she's, My job she scampers sense. off and finds a comfortable space and that just curls up. What are you talking about? It's not the worst thing that can happen. I mean, I've seen kids getting into fights and whatnot at 10. You're right, the worst thing that could happen is she dies. True! You're entirely right. true on that. I suppose it could be worse than that. Are all, are all children like Ralph? Do, are, do they all possess a murderous spirit within them? Only ones with knives. Depends. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, yeah, here's this back by my Celsus, and uh, here's this as well. And another scroll to Celsus. 
thank you. Alright. So whenever it becomes time to head out... We're, we're getting, like, some sleep and then getting up early to go meet the zombies, is that the idea? Yes. Is there an elevated spot somewhere around this gate that I could get to? The top of the cart or the top of the gate? <laughs> I don't think I'm allowed up on the, the top, top of the gate. The top of the horse! <laughs> also the horse! I think how light will position themselves on top of the horse- or the gate- or the- FUCK! The cart! <laughs> the caravan! The caravan! I'm doing good, I went through all the wrong answers! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you can get Ava's kind house of, of many camera. wonders. <laughs> Is it? As- as Vari's waking up, she immediately has a different tone of now she's all like, this sucks, why- why am I here? Cross probably is wondering where I'm at by now. <laughs> we had- we, we- we had a plan to meet up again, I have- I still have the pickaxes so we can't get the work started. spicy this food is awful. stomach crumbles. This is awful, this is just the worst. And then her cloak <laughs> is warm. Doesn't help. Nothing- nothing can warm my icy icy soul. Gonna be invisible for this for like the first you know before you cast a spell or whatever. If you can handle it, I won't say no. Yeah. I'll put them down. All right. Mm, there are two minotaurs. Okay. Oh, how light's going to whisper with the one closest to us? Let Rain and Aravon handle the other. All right. Yes, that sounds that sounds like a logical course of action to take. I'm with you there. So, I'd say, to kick things off, let's hit this one right here with Guiding Bolt. Sure. Once the so Guiding Bolt- if the right. Guiding Bolt lands, I'm gonna follow up immediately with the- with the bomb. Oh, uh, that hits Duncan. There's There'll be 13 Radiant damage. on Let's that double. closest Minotaur. How late? Hello. I'm following up with the chuck of the grenade. Light the fuse, toss it. And I'm gonna aim for, like, right here. So maybe cool. it'll hit the you... other two. That's a crit. Ooh. That goes off. It's a giant cloud of green, grayish green smoke, and nothing immediately happens. We'll get to that when we get to that. All right. Rain. I'm basically just scamming into the tree and trying to jump onto the mentor, mentor skeleton. Oh, and the give me acrobatics. Acrobatics. And if this works, I'd like to plunge my short sword into him. Expe I was gonna wait for Celsius, but seeing Rain jumping in like a dumbass, even though I told her not to jump in like a dumbass. <gasps> Rain reminds me a lot of the other adventuring party that all got eaten alive. She is a child, after all. This is why I suggested she stay behind, lest she lose another hand. Son of a bitch. <laughs> I'm gonna try to get there. Hopefully I'm not triggering sneak attack. I'm not gonna attack the Minotaur skeleton. I'm gonna take out this, because if I remember right, that's a ghoul. Go for it. And I don't want to get paralyzed. Yeah, that hits. And, and I'm gonna add a, a level 1 smite on it. You'll almost one-shot it. Since, since I almost one-shot it, I imagine 13 more damage will just straight up kill it. Uh, yeah, that's fucking dead. Let's go try this guy out here. See what happens if... He casts Dispel Magic on it, see if it loses its, you know. It does not take hold. Mm. Let's, Let's do get it. some new shit out. Uh, the Minotaur Skeleton. He's the, the lizards. Yeah. That's right. Eh. Eh. Okay, we're gonna do a gore attack on Vari. Now I'm just realizing that I have Emboldening Bond and I didn't use it. <laughs> I don't even know uh, what that is. Well... Whoops, I've got a turn coming up at... Bottom of the turn order, that's soon enough. Uh, do, I'm guessing a 12 doesn't hit you? No, a 12 does not. Well, that one gets fucked, and then the one eh. with rain on its back, it's going to try to great axe hit her. Um, it doesn't matter, he rolled a 7. The fucking thing, but it's not gonna be fire, it's gonna be fucking pain. Boop! Get in with it. That's... <laughs> 35 wow. radiant. Wow. <laughs> uh, vaporize, 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 and bonus round. Uh-huh. Nice, dude. Ah. <laughs> vaporize. <laughs> nice, dude. Did it fail the it next the I was legitimately going to look around for banshees on my turn. <laughs> and now you're no longer in Visibra. Uh, Got you. Hey. But that brings us to Erevan. Fuck it. I'm gonna step onto this corpse. Personally, I think Rain's got this. 
and they're more likely to attack me since the rain's on top of the Minotaur. Uh, I'm gonna cat use my channel divinity, Nature's Wrath, on this guy over here to keep him in the cloud. Oh, uh, yeah, that guy's restrained. Alright, this guy, which there was going to be multiple of them until, you know... I decided I didn't want multiple over. of them. <laughs> and attack Vari. Come at me. I'm tough like a fish. Or does a 16 hit you? Yep, breaks right through. I whistle at it and cast Silvery Barbs. Nice. Does a 15 hit you? E unfortunately, yes. Damn. All right. Well, I need you to make me a DC 10 Constitution saving throw. Oh. Oh, you know oh, it yeah, is. Yeah, you are fine. Uh, Bahama, are you okay, Mari? <laughs> Careful whose name you say around here. <laughs> hey, you you know, you'd, ne you'd never know if any of them are listening. Eh. For the gone father. I can tell you for a fact, he ain't listening. Also, also, can I just like get, can I get a, like a real quick like read on whatever your deal is? Like, are we at peace with each other right now? Is this what peace is? Oh yeah, no, we're definitely like you know, we're battle. Okay, because I totally had a thing that completely um evacuated itself from my mind. I have a very tiny brain, you see. Ah, uh, no, that's <laughs> fine. That's fine. Uh, yeah, let's uh, hmm. focus, you two. <laughs> hey, Vari, giant guy or the other dude that just slashed you? It doesn't matter. They're both going down all the same. Still does not stick. Mm. It feels like I was close. The highlight's gonna look to the skies and scan around. Would you say it's a free action or a bonus action to look for more banshees? Uh, I would just ask you to make a perception check and it wouldn't cost, it wouldn't cost anything. Awesome, awesome. That's what I'm gonna start with. Um, it's cloudy, okay. so there's not much light other than the like barest hints of dawn. And you don't see any banshees. Can't be so certain, but I don't see any. All right, Vari, you might want to take a step back soon. Um, Howlet's just going to gently slit their palm, draw a bit of blood. Ow. Oof. Uh, Hemocraft, and we are going to, as the air kind of flows around their hand, they are going to target this big guy right here, and we are going to do a blood maledictive binding as a bonus mm. action. So if you don't mind giving me a strength saving throw, DC 12. Uh, all right. Okay. Ooh, a 19. Since I got my reaction back, Silvery Barbs again. Yo, Barbs. Hey, what was your DC? 12. <laughs> a 13. Ah, oh, damn. <sighs> One of these times he'll work. Damn blood magic. They squeeze their hand and, like, seal the wound with a little <laughs> whisper of a spell, and I am going to take the rest of the blood into my Thunderstrike crossbow, aim it at this thing, and fire. Oh, the big guy? Yeah, the big guy. Oh, that's not a crit? That's not oh a God. crit. I have that's a plus a 11. <laughs> oh, right. That's 12 damage. And we'll shoot again. 17. That also hits? Yep. <laughs> Shrunk and chunk. Is that your turn? Chunkity chunkity. That's my turn. All right. It is something invisible's turn. Uh, uh, this rougher one's going to come down, fly down at rain. Uh, I'm guessing an 11 doesn't hit. Oh, that does not hit at all. So, since these two have appeared now, and everyone is within 60 feet of one of them... Oh no. Oh no. Uh, everyone needs to make me a DC 13 wisdom saving throw, or be framed for one minute. Alright. Fuck! Oh! You want a wisdom saving throw? Thank god, not this time. Oh, 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 oh no! Oh, I do have <laughs> Oh, nice! I got a knife! Oh, and he was fine! Okay. I'm fine. Um, so... I'm not. Me and Vari are scared. Vari and uh. Erevan, you are frightened. And at the end of each of your Ooh. turns, a frightened target can repeat the saving throw at the end of each of its turns, with disadvantage if the Banshee is in within the line of sight. Alright. Oh! As the other one comes down at Celsius. Hello there. No oh, fuck. And it's going to try to touch you. Does an eight hit you? No, it doesn't. Brain. Uh, I'm still stuck on this thing's back. Plus a twenty. That hits. Stick attack. Ooh, there we go. So twenty points That's of the right damage. Shit. Where's Brain? Right, yeah, damage. Nah. <laughs> Brain, get out of here. Get back to the caravan. I can do. I can do more here. Get back. To the caravan! <laughs> I can just run from the Minotaur skeleton since I hit him without getting attack of opportunity. I know I'll take one from the uh, 
worth To be fair, I just need you out of the way. Um, if you bonus action disengage, you can run right here. <laughs> right, I'll do that then. <laughs> run under the Minotaur skeleton's legs. It's very tall, you can. Rogue moment. <laughs> Yep, Dash, <laughs> your sneak attack is you jumping as it's trying to buck, slashing down and then dashing between its legs. Uh, Onto the zombies? <laughs> yeah. This one's going to come after rain. Uh, does a 15 hit you? No. Does an 18 hit you? No. Thank you, new shield! I have a plus one AC, so I have a 19 and 19. Woo! <laughs> You're at a 19? Yeah, I'm at a 19. Uh, well, I just rolled a 19. Uh, that is two damage. It negated by it gets negated by heavy armor master. That is zero damage. <laughs> well, and then the there. last one on rain does a twenty hit you? Yes, but I'm going to uncanny dodge to have to half the uh, damage of my reaction. Uh, so take three. Vari, you are frightened and in line of sight of the banshee. Well, to begin with. I'm going to use my thing, which I completely forgot existed at the beginning of this combat. Uh, emboldening bond. And I'm going to cast the bond between myself, Erevan, and Celsus. Uh, that gives you an extra d4 that you can add to an attack roll, ability check, or saving throw. And I'm going to cast Hand of Radiance, which is okay. Word of Radiance that just replaces the, um, which just replaces the vocal with somatic. Fifteen. This guy rolled really well and rolled an eighteen, but the Minotaur rolled a six. <laughs> nice. Take twelve. That one d six killed right. it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, and I'm going to hit the one that's still standing with an unarmed strike. That hits. Um, oh, Vari, you killed that thing. You want to roll your portent? <gasps> Go. <laughs> Two twelves. <laughs> Yay! All right, and your wisdom save. D8 with your fist. Hold on. So, with... <laughs> oh, we'll get to that. Uh, so... <laughs> <laughs> I really so... love the so Will realizes what was said. <laughs> oh. you have Never mind. You, have you can your... take the 12! Take the 12! I can take the 12! You're right! And then you guaranteed win if you Where's put the body in the 16. Thank you for reminding no me about the you. thing that I was just reminded of and immediately forgot about again. <laughs> 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 the hang of it. It's that's that's my turn. All right. That's Ava. everything I can do. Ava's gonna cast fireball. Yeah. <laughs> Good for her. Uh, like right about here, just to. Wonderbar. Yeah. Got it. it. <laughs> nice. To get these these the banshee, this guy, and this guy. Thirty-three fire damage. Hell yeah. Toasty. So well, I imagine the zombies the probably zombies. dead. Uh, and so is the Minotaur skeleton! Yo! I did do a lot of damage to that Minotaur skeleton, so... Yeah, mm -hmm. you did. <laughs> oh, we we got these guys on lock. And that's Ava's turn. Alright, Celsus, so now blow good. them up with one touch. With one touch of your, your wizard <laughs> hand. Celsus looks at the Banshee. Just kind of glares at it. Uh, I'm gonna turn this into radiant damage, by the way. Go for it. Hey, mine's uh, good. wisdom Oof. save? Here, I'll do this in public for you. Oh? Yo! Oh, That's a 12. It actually met it. That's a 12. That's a 12! It takes 26. God, Portent is so fucked up. It's so good, I love it. <laughs> that does a large chunk, Erevan. I'm not worried about this guy. I'm worried about this guy. I just want it dead. Sorry, Rain. I'm dropping concentration on yours. I'm dropping a moonbeam on this motherfucking goddamn banshee. I need you to make a con save. A moon beam. <laughs> a moon a beam. Going on. I'm calling down the wrath of heaven on this banshee. Oh. Cool, the um... phrase dropping a moon beam is one of the funniest things I've heard. Dropping you a moon hit beam. the moonbeam button? Uh, the moonbeam button. Yeah, sure. Give me one second to find the moonbeam button. <laughs> Brad, I love the moonbeam button. <laughs> Dude, I wish I had a moonbeam button. <laughs> Eviscerated. Positively game with it. I didn't. Kill me harder. What's your turn? Hard. Oh, this ghoul is gonna <laughs> claw at Bari. Yes! Um... <laughs> 
<laughs> Finally! Where it's gonna, like, start to play on his ocarina, and, uh, only this thing can hear it, weirdly enough. As I can do synergy spells at a second level. Oh. Uh, that sails? Alright, uh, it needs to, uh, move away from me. Is that there? Yeah. I forgot to do something at the Minotaur Skeleton's turn because they were dead, and so I forgot to do this. Uh, oh, but... is something happening to the one that we bombed? Uh, the ones that you bombed, uh, no. you see Minotaur Skeleton's body starts, uh, kind of, for lack of a better term, dusting. Snapped. Oh. Hell yeah. Like, as the wind blows kind of out here outside the bubble, it does start, like, kind of disintegrating. <clears throat> I got something in my eyes. What, what the hell is that? <laughs> the other two that have flesh kind of start melting. Okay. Oh, that's interesting. <laughs> yeah, I think that's that good. weapon that you made started to take hold. Yeah. It's acting, but it seems effective. Oh, we are making it's more all in of my this. Lungs. Huh. You know, if you were to trap them in the cave and, like, cause that to... That's uh, a discussion for a different time. In the middle of a fight later, please. Aims their crossbow at the currently <laughs> fleeing Banshee. <laughs> I'm gonna take a shot. Uh, yeah, go okay. Yo. <laughs> yo. What the fuck? It's dead. Uh, yo. Nice work, idiot. Uh, they're going to hop down here and draw their scimitar and take their multi-attack on the back of this guy. Who's attacking Vary. Kill him. Bring me his spine. Eight slashing. I'm going to move here just so I can get to flanking of Howlite. And I'm going to just slash this bitch with my, with my, with my short sword. Uh, this guy on Erevan is no longer being flanking. A nine doesn't hit you. Nope. Rain, a crit fail doesn't hit you. That's their turn because that last guy is restrained. He can make the. Oh my god, he can move. Candy cat. <laughs> he can move. Oh, ah. the agony. I've had a thing that, I've, that I could have been able to do to this guy every time that he missed me, but I just, I'm just gonna play it all that. I just felt so bad for this poor ghoul that I just never did it. <laughs> you were frightened. I was never scared. Don't, don't believe any of the lies or, or spiteful rumors that you may hear. Barry, it's okay to be scared. Even I'm scared every now and then. I'm gonna go to hit him with the I'm one, not. two. <laughs> <laughs> That's gonna be the first unarmed strike against the ghoul in front of me. Oh, that hits. I'm gonna bring it around into into the left hook. That hits. All right. You kill it. All right. Yeah. Yep. I'm, I'm just gonna basically just just break its neck. Ava. Uh, Ava's gonna move over here and take out her longsword and stab through the skull. Ava and miss. sword is powerful. Moonbeam. Uh, right. It's a con Moonbeam. save? Con oh, save. Moon. I love moons. God, I love moons. God, I love the moon. God, I love just staring at the moon for hours on end. I love roasting my eyes from the inside. Who cool is dead? I'll have to stab it. How late? Mm, so the moonbeam's still here, yeah? Yeah. If I attack those guys in the moonbeam with a melee weapon, do I get moonbeamed? No? It's only on. You have to enter the moonbeam in order to get affected by moonbeam. So if you're standing here, so if I just, like, go you can here. just stab him. I'll just go here. <gasps> Make, like, an attack roll on this guy. I'm gonna do that. Dead. Nice. Takes a step to the side. Multi attack. Very close. Off hand bonus action. Oh, that hits. Six slashing. Yep, dead. Nice. Rain Jeez. sword. <laughs> wow, just showing up like that. All right, okay. You were too busy appreciating the moon, Vari. Let's be honest, it is a nice moon. It is. Hey, is oh. it kind of like... Is it kind of like weird or, or, or something for, you know, like... Like a paladin of the sun to be using like, like a, like a moon-based spell? He's a lord of light. Does not Bobby, matter where the source. The sun's light is reflected off the moon. Surely you know this, yes? Is that what's going on with the Yes. I assume it's just facing like one of them, so I just kind of come up, scamper up its back, and I just drag my blade across its throat. 
And I just kind of cut deep enough and just write it down. And I just look up from his back at, at your right. Are you good? Uh, oh, uh, yeah. He was like looking over towards the for a while. <laughs> and he looks like, yeah, no, I'm all good. Uh, you good? He uh, sheaves your weapons, does a little prayer, and then scampers over to and scampers over to Aravan. I'm gonna dispel it before Wait, she gets don't, anywhere don't, close don't, don't to the light. I dispel don't, it. Don't. I dispel it. I cast it away. <laughs> we good. Is the corpse on the ground here? The one that um was melting. Yeah. Hey, kid, you did great. <laughs> hey. Are they continuing to melt? Um. Once they die, they kind of seem to stop melting. Okay. If I like blow on them? Does it like spread their dust around? The the ones with flesh are not dust, so the ghoul and the zombie okay. have not turned to dust. They are just mush. <laughs> the skeleton zombie is slowly turning to dust. Is it still turning to dust, or is it just in the same state it was? It seems to be slowly flaking off with the wind. Interesting. It almost like it's removing their bones. I had to hazard a guess this might have removed whatever revival magic was linked so directly to them. Uh, yeah, I was trying to dispel Everyone. magic on some of these guys. Uh, I can feel it, like, trying to take hold, but it wouldn't, like, fully. Not strong enough. Uh, uh, oh, so anyone okay. need any healing? Oh, I... you saying how I you what? I was merely going to congratulate the fact that we might have found a solution to their revival. Yes. A way to keep them dead. Yeah. I wonder what would happen if we tried to, like, put that gas concoction in, like, the cave and seal it. I think there's more than one entrance, and it's definitely not airtight down there. Hmm. The volume of air down there is far too mass for Far too vast for us to produce that much of a gas. Hmm. We would need a much longer amount of time, I believe. Hmm. Besides, the air down there is likely filled still with the enchantments. Even if we killed them with this, we're not sure that it would stop them from revival. True, they... I guess for one sake of thing, we can test fully if it's inside or outside of the thing and whether or not it revives and if we want to run a second test or try to refine it to work faster we can try a bit of a quick and dirty ambush inside of the thing to see if it will keep them down inside of the barrier good idea <sighs> because if it doesn't still keep them down inside the barrier then we're still at the picking them off as they come out stage to try to whittle down their numbers. Mm. On top of that, Very promising if, test, though. If all goes yeah, well, was... once we actually conduct our ambush, most of the undead which we would otherwise have to be dealing with reviving are going to be melting in a in a lake of acid. Yes. Presumably melting. Mm. Uh, by, by the way, can we harvest the horns off this minotaur skeleton too? Uh, I do think that one over there is a bit disintegrating, but you can try on this one. Oh yeah, no, I was gonna say, I need help with this one. Um, last time, if I remember correctly, Howlite, you were the one that was able to do it really good. I know how these things work, if you'd like my help. I yes, yes, yeah, these yeah. ones for you. Uh, like, last time you were able to get it by going, uh, here, 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 and here. Board of Inspiration again. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I think, I'd say that's good enough. It's not as, like, cleanly precise as the last one. But this one seemed to have harder horns. Thank you. Oh god, these are hefty. Oh, well, these are thicker than the other one. I can carry one for you. This one seems to be a much more healthy specimen. Yeah, yeah. Another lay on hands for 8 HP on Howlite. <laughs> imagine, need, imagine needing the magic of Paylord help, like, seal wounds. I could just, like, focus mm -hmm. really- I could just focus really, really hard and the pain will just go away. <laughs> I poke I Vari and I fill Vari's HP wind. with 7 HP. I have second wind, you stop right there. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see what the second no, wind does. Oh. Ah, yes. Nice. <laughs> second wind. Yeah. That... Save, you, save your divine magics for those oh, who right. want it. Uh, but yeah, no, uh, Aravon, can like, we go uh, behind the tree for a minute? Like, you know, 
Uh, okay, Rain, wait for me in the caravan. Scamper, 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 scamper. What do you need, kid? I'm not a kid, I'm probably as old as you, if not older. Anyway. Fair enough, sorry. You cast Moonbeam on me. Why? I want to test a theory. Why? <laughs> Moonbeam fucks with certain, like, things and whatnot, yes? I've heard it can mess with things that shapeshift. Yeah. Okay. Yes, okay, but cool. it won't remove a curse. I just want you to just trust me and try it. I haven't tried this before, which is why I'm, like, curious if it'll work. It's so out of the box and, like... Uh, weird that it maybe give me a, a small, you know. <laughs> this is a literal forty foot tall pillar of moonlight. Yeah, this is gonna be fucking no. It is not. <laughs> Even how I did the caravan's gonna see it through like the window. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, just just humor me. I want to see if this will like do something good, bad, neutral. Maybe. Okay. I'm gonna take a step back. Grit your teeth. <laughs> oh, you know, I'll... I cast Moonbeam. Shape changers make this a disadvantage. Not sure this counts. <laughs> Shape change, uh, you, you do not count. Okay. D2 dex. Oh, <laughs> oh my god. That's half, right? <laughs> so you take half. <laughs> <laughs> that's fucking hilarious. Oh, I think I found your encounters, Dan. <laughs> 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 Does anything feel different? Roll me perception. Nothing feels different. It wouldn't change his appearance unless he failed the save. <laughs> oh. uh, okay, you know, I'm gonna... You, st you keep, want to keep going or do you want me to cut it? Hang on, I'm just gonna... He whistles a little to heal himself a little bit with a second level healing word. Are you going to willingly fail this next save? <laughs> Take up the glove on his left hand and kind of unwraps the bandage a little bit. And... Okay. And I'll... Take a look. <laughs> <left. laughs> and uh, if you fail, you instantly revert to your original form and cannot assume a different form until it leaves the spell light. If it is a shape changer. I do not know how this affects curses. That's up to Cat. <laughs> Uriot, I need you to make me an Arcana check. Uh, I wonder what's going on here. 18. I'm still ruined. Guys, I think I might be catching on to something here. Could Richard potentially be be playing another character with a cursed arm? <laughs> I love how you say that like it's, it's a question. Uriot. <laughs> Uriot. Uh -huh. give you Richard, one with chance. a cursed arm? The chances are more likely that you might be... <laughs> Hey, idiot! I'm gonna give you one chance. Uh huh. I'm gonna give you one chance here, because I wrote something and the curse crit failed. Okay. I'm gonna, hey, I'm gonna DM you something. Okay. Got one shot. Uh, one opportunity. It just like fucking. Uh, after Vari was like, "Don't need no paler for this," and then Paler's like, "Bitch, you what?" <laughs> <laughs> oh fuck. <laughs> I'm never gonna look at the moon the have, same way ever again. I have 14 more HP I could give you. One chance, Richard. Oh. Party, According to Erebon, it's the one same chance. thing. I was like, okay, you, still have the you roll high enough to be able to sense this. If it crit fails, it crit failed. If it, it, it crit failed, you get one chance. Oh my god. One chance for what? I'm gonna need to roll spellcasting again. Okay. And I swear to God, if you break the, that entire, break <laughs> my entire plot line for you, I, I I'll break Imagine it. Imagine if fucking laser ring Udiot breaks the whole plot. Do you want to know what you have to beat? Yeah, I'm curious. A fifteen. Okay. You have that D four. Possible. You have the D four. Oh God, am I within? Oh fuck. I'm pretty I... And as I drop it, bless. <laughs> <laughs> I'm adding bless what onto you. As you leave the zone, God. you get 2d4 extra. Oh I feel like there's a very high chance of success. 
this is such a high chance. I thought the the it rolled a nine. It crit failed and then rolled Holy a nine. Shit. Bad day to be a curse. Bad day to be a curse indeed. <laughs> what the? F why? Eighteen, nineteen. Why did that? Eighteen. Why? Why is this the one time? <laughs> Who's <laughs> your secret broke? You didn't you want to win this? <laughs> I, I I didn't think it would work. <laughs> sequence break. Sequence break. Sequence break. Sequence break. Sequence break. Sequence break. I don't know what's even happening. What did you do? Would you like to describe what Erevan sees? <laughs> and possibly everyone else. How the fuck did you do? <laughs> <laughs> Oh god, a crit I, failed. I, I, um, oh god, a crit failed. Oh no. Oh god, I rolled the die. I commend you for going with the numbers. Peeking out the window like, what's going on? <laughs> Celsus just watching just because he has tree. angle to Can view cast. from here. Mm. Can I have both Ava and Howlite doing the, like, peek around the corner thing? <laughs> just like, what's <laughs> going on? <laughs> Note, I did say raid, go wait for me in the caravan. Oh. <laughs> Varios picked up Richard, rain like it's like a Scooby Doo full thing. Full control. Full no. Scooby, however, you want to describe this. Oh, fuck. I'm leaving this all up to you. No. The weird thing that you sequence broke into. <laughs> sequence break. As the moment comes away, the, uh,. Hand that we really, like had unwrapped slightly that had you know, some blue scales and whatnot on it. <laughs> From underneath the wrapping, a metallic sheen kind of comes underneath, uh, rapidly covering his hand, and as his expression kind of gets like, wait, what? It goes over the entirety of his body <laughs> as it shudders, kind of jolts a little bit, and he rapidly starts to expand in size. Becoming. Oh, that solved your short problem. Becoming huge. <laughs> <laughs> As he slams a massive clawed hand into the ground. <laughs> becoming an adult brass dragon. Huh. Hmm. And just kind of like shakes himself, looks around. Um, guys, what? Um. Wait, is it actually fucked? What the fuck? I was gonna roll wisdom for myself to see if I would even like register that this is that this is still the same person, but I still have a bolting a bond up, so I'd be able to detect that. What? <laughs> yeah. In the name of the seven constellations, are you doing out here? <laughs> 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 <clears throat> the throat uh, is definitely uh, a bit sexy. Oh, oh, he's. He's not a little guy anymore, is he? That. worked? I did not think that would work. Did, did it. Uh, <laughs> kind of like sits <laughs> on his rear. Just. It. Oh. Uh, it. Hmm. You know, this is probably only going to last for tonight, who knows? Maybe a week? It's... Huh. Oh. Are you? Celsus raises a finger and says, If this is to last any longer, if this is to last for just tonight, what would it take to accelerate some of our plans and take advantage of this? Um, well, as Celsus, uh... normally I'm against what you have to say, but they slap a hand on your shoulder. That's an excellent idea. 